I think this is where I'm going to do it. I'm going to come out. No, I love all of no. you. I need to be. No, no love. There is no love here because you know what? We are about to do a community one shot and sometimes things explode. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, welcome to it's Friday, right? We established that it was Friday. <laughs> Welcome to yes. Lawful Stupid RPGs Friday Night Community right. One Shots. Yay, we have made I have re- it. successfully Ooh. remembered the date. Um, Thank God it's LSRPGCOS. We need to work on Community uh, One acronyms. Shot. I like that acronym. Sweet. All right. So before we get started with all of this insanity, we have a couple announcements. Um, the biggest announcement is make sure that you turn tune in to watch the rest of our awesome programming we have um eight fantastic wonderful glorious hours of DD tomorrow starting with ishvel at 2 p.m eastern where the only ship that matters is torvira unless you want to actually talk about the cloud maiden but yeah whatever um so then we've got 7 p.m eastern party foul um where i've been told that we're all gonna die because we decided to split the party three ways Always split the party in d and um, Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern, we have Aeroth. I don't know what crazy stuff is going to happen in Aeroth, but I'm assuming it will. Um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Monday, we have Garden of Eden, where we are in the middle of the death crawl. And then 8 p.m. Tuesday, Black Death, where they are always in the middle of a death crawl. So um, make sure you tune in, watch. They're all fantastic. They're all super entertaining. Um, but... Now that I've gone over all of that, why don't we start playing our game, everybody? Who's ready? But I am. Woo! We ready? got one, two, three. There are yes. seven of you. I, oh my lord, nobody's I'm ready. ready. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. You can I'm, do this, Mandy. I'm, we believe in you. Who's <laughs> up and ready? All right. So to set the scene a little bit, the land known as Brunsmire has long been known to be home to a great and terrible wizard. The wizard was known for eccentricity, insanity, and riches beyond belief. However, rumors have started circulating that the wizard has either left the land or hopefully even died. The magic permeating the area has started to wane in power. A few of the wizard's captured victims have escaped and returned to civilization, telling wild tales of torture, weird accomplices, piles of gold, and gorillas. A call for adventurers has gone out, asking you to investigate the wizard's realm and confirm or deny the rumors of his death. Our adventurers have spent the last two weeks traveling from the city of Sprague to the small village of Myers Edge, the last outpost of normal before the wizard's domain starts. So we are going to start off. We are in the village of Myers Edge. We have a lovely party that have traveled together for two weeks. So they've got a decent amount of, uh, of rapport with each other. They know who each other are, at least a decent amount. Um, so why don't we go around and everybody can kind of give a brief description, physical or emotional, however you want to do it, of your character. And then we will jump in. Let's go ahead and start with Ryukin. Konnichiwa. My party asked me to stab, I stab. I honor them with my presence, they honor me with this. Fantastic, Ryukin. Let's go ahead with Eros. Uh, Eros is a wood elf rogue. Um, very modest living dude. He's a mass wealth. Um, and he kind of walks like it. But uh, at, at the same time, what you know about him is that he's very cool under pressure. Um, and the crew that is with him to get the job done is the crew until the job's done and if they move on, they move on. But right now, this is the family because they've got things to do. And that thing is mostly stabbing a wizard in the face and stealing his shit, so. Olo. Um, I'm Olo. Uh, I'm a tortle, a circle of spores druid. Uh, don't mind all the mushrooms and bioluminescence on my shell. Um, sometimes you can eat them, uh, but I wouldn't recommend that one or that one. Or that one, but but this one's good. Uh, I'm I'm really just along for the ride. Uh, these guys were traveling, and uh, they seem nice, so that's why I'm here. Bellinor. Bellinor is a pretty boy elf with a uh, a loot a trusty loot by his side. He is uh, traveling the lands of Brunsmire to promote his uh, solo work as a as an uh, epop uh, star. 
uh, elf pop. Valena. Valena is a warlock who is just out to find adventure and it couldn't be more excited to go see what's going on with that wizard. Sandra. Sandra is a Goliath barbarian and she is out to do things that people in her tribe haven't done yet that she knows of. And last but certainly not least, Dwarik. Dwarik is a dwarf cleric of the forge who's having a bit of a religious crisis right now and uh, has left the temple in order to go find his path and find what his gods want of him. Fantastic. All right, so now that everybody kind of has an image in their brain of who we're playing with, um, we're going to kind of go into the village of Meyer's Edge. Um, it's a quaint little village, thatched roofs. Um, we have some nice wooden construction. There's really nothing beyond um, the wooden. You're not going to see very many stone buildings here um, because all of the stone may have just been stolen from you by our lovely wizard friend. Um, one thing that is a little bit strange about Meyer's Edge is that almost everybody here practices magic in some way, shape, or form because they have to. Um, because you need to be able to actually protect yourself when you live at the edge of an evil wizard's realm. So, um, to the north is an inn. To the east is the mayor's house. And to the south is a um, whole bunch of houses, some gardens, and throughout the um, town you can see people bustling, moving around, um, just going about their daily lives. Where would you guys like to go? Sandra, listen to me. I'm saying one of the first things that you wanna do when you're out here now because you want to be the first in your tribe, right? For everything. You want to be the first in your tribe to do everything, right? Yes. I'm just saying you haven't eaten that mushroom off of Olo's back. And I know that he said not to, but you would technically be the first one. Am I wrong? My, my tribe has all eaten mushrooms. But off of his back. But we can talk about it like- He said we can not to eat them. Right? So what are the chances? We can we can talk about it. We can talk about it later. Oh, geez. anybody get like a real like magicy vibe off of this place? Like, ugh, it's in the air. You can feel it. You can feel it's very strong. It feels so good. I feel what nothing. What? It might be my spores. Uh, did you breathe them in? I can barely breathe in this mask. I cannot breathe your spores. Well, that's good. Don't worry, it's not your spores. Ray, can I've been place... meaning to talk to you about that. Go ahead, Dwork, please. I don't mean to cut you off. It's this place. This place reeks of magic. Seems it... normal to me. Re I reeks of uh, some other things, too. I Listen, I don't know about you guys, but I, I could use a, a, a nice bath here. A bath. I mean, we haven't been on the road for that long. And it... Oh, wow. I haven't given you the close up close yet. Yeah, we need to make it to the inn and make it to the inn soon. <laughs> I'm not I, I'm not opposed to a bath. Uh, in the we meantime, Olo casts druid craft, craft and sprays a, a, uh, like a puff of perfume at Bellinor. There you Great. go. Great. A druid shower. That's what we needed today. Can we get to the inn, please? <laughs> so we're all going to the inn to the inn to all the right. inn so you walk into the inn um, and it is not empty but it's the middle of the day there's not a ton of people there um, behind the bar is um, someone who is very obviously the innkeeper he looks like he owns the establishment um, and there's a couple other people there as you walk in um, a couple of the people in just kind of glance up and um eros could you roll me perception dm it would nothing would bring me happier 
more joy than a 13 plus modifiers. Um, perception is a plus three, a 16 total. In okay. the back corner, go ahead, Sandra. Uh, can I even fit through the door? Yes, you can. They have a very tall ceiling here. I I feels like Mina asking these questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Um, so uh, Eros, in the back right-hand corner, there is a table that has a group of three men. Um, they're drinking, carousing. One of them looks familiar. How familiar? Uh, you pushed him off a roof familiar. Oh. And does she know as me? that happens and you notice him, he glances up to see who walked in and his eyes get super wide. He jumps up and before you can do anything at all, you are now a rabbit. Fuck! And from behind the bar, you can hear the innkeeper just start swearing and go, not again, I told them not to teach them that spell. Oh, out of everything in this whole entire world. Oh, and he calls out to his wife or daughter, whoever works there. I'm not actually sure. I didn't plan that part. Go get me the flowers. I, Ola would uh, pick up Eros and say, I heard a story once that someone like you and someone like me raced. Uh, maybe can we I should try it sometime. Can I speak in rabbit form? You cannot. You hear- I like him better like this. <laughs> a, lot, a lot better. It's I, certainly I, quieter. I kind of hold him and I start like, there, there. And you hear the, I you can hear the. I want to pet the rabbit. Oh. Um, g- gentle, gentle, uh, Sandra. Oh no, you don't need to be gentle. Can I can can I have his loot? Yes. Seem to have uh, rabbited with him. Uh. And you guys can hear from behind the bar the innkeeper going, "Oh dang, flabbit! Where did they put those gosh darn yellow flowery gibbly gabbly potiony things?" Yes. Okay. Somebody and then... fix that. <laughs> You can hear crashing and banging and booming and smashing. And finally, he pulls and picks up the smallest can. It's not this small. It's actually probably like this small. And it is filled with a yellow potion with um, petals and and like stems of plants in it. Um, the innkeeper walks over, looks at it, and looks at the entire party. This is the last one I have. Do you want to turn him back or or not? Because if you do turn him back, I'm going to need you to go and get me more flowers. Mm. I, I can make you flowers. You can't make me these flowers. That oh. seems like a lot of work. Mm. Well, what, what brings you guys here anyway? Um, Wizard. I heard things about gorillas. Oh, oh, you guys, you heard about the wizard being missing or Mm -hmm. something? Okay, well, if you're going to go looking for the wizard's domain, you're going to be heading through the field of flowers anyway. So just pick me like 37 million of them, and then I can just make sure I make these potions. Because if I don't make the potions, they're going to practice their polymorphin. And if they keep practicing their polymorphin, there's going to be no way for me to go. Just everybody turns into rabbits here, and I don't want that. Rabbits make way too many children, and it's, it's a problem. So please, just take this, turn your friend back into a friend. Maybe figure out why he was turned into a rabbit, because usually they don't greet strangers with that. And uh, just get me more flowers, all right? I'll get you more flowers. Probably a good thing Bellinor didn't turn into a rabbit. Wouldn't be much difference between the amount of children produced. <laughs> Listen I here. don't get your joke. I would produce five times more children than Eris over there. Uh, okay, oh fine, fine. If you're, go- if you're not going to do it, I'll just do it myself. Oh. But uh, by me pouring this on him, you are 100% contractually obligated to get me more flowers. Can we I keep as rabbits? <sighs> you, can you keep the rabbits? We want to keep them as rabbits. All right. Ola and uh, Sandra, you guys are in charge of flowers. Okay. 
Okay. Well, no, no, you can't keep him as a rabbit. That's too bad. I'll get some flowers. The uh, innkeeper pops the potion open and dumps it on Eros' uh, rabbit form. And uh, Eros then turns back into his uh, whatever he is. Oh, what elf form. This is uh, nice. I, I make a small adjustment under my waistband and I look, look over at Ola and go, thank you. And I go, what the fuck was that about? Oh, well, well, easy there. Um, and you see from the corner, the three men stand up and the one who cast the polymorph spell walks forward. You pushed me out of a window. What do you Alar, mean? What the fuck was that about? You know that you tripped. And even if you didn't, you couldn't prove I pushed you. You pushed me out of a window. Semantics. Semantics. I have bruises. Bruises? Not a, yeah, you pushed me really hard. There were uh, handprints do you, uh, do, in Do you not remember the silvery moon areas. job? Yeah, okay. And then there was a time that you tripped me because the guards were coming and this would make you go faster. Yeah, we have issues. Can I, I roll for intimidation? Hey, where's the... Where's yeah, the sure. Thug? You can roll for intimidation. <laughs> Just general presence. Can we stop arguing? We need to go get more flowers now. Where are oh, the flowers? For, forget the flowers. We have more important thing than flowers. Oh. Well, yes, we'll get the flowers, but we have more important things. Well, you're right. Like what? We do have much more important. Things. What important things are you guys thinking you're here for? Nothing you get a cut for. <laughs> I don't want a cut. I'm here. I'm living a nice, peaceful life. And the only thing that has gone wrong recently is is my puppy. He's, oh. he's taken. He's gone. And all of the pets around here just they keep they keep disappearing. And mm. and I just really miss my puppy Zeusy Woosy. That's just, really sad. Zeusy Woosy. Ooh. Yes, and then one of the um, other people that are like backing up Alar um, pokes his head in and, and I lost my kitty cat Aloysius. Could you please find my kitty cat Aloysius? Yes, we'll do that. What? No, we will. We don't. Why you sign us up for everything? Literally, literally, Ola, we have, you're the slowest one out of all of us and we're always, we need to keep up with you. Alar, did that defenestration hit you in the head? You're not normally so soft. Wait, um, no, 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 it did hit you. <laughs> you would know because you're the one who hit me in the head with the window and then pushed me out of the window. It was very painful. You're adding steps now that you can't <laughs> prove. Uh, tell, tell us about Zeus, though, because, I mean, like, I'm not saying that I owe you one, but... Oh, my puppy's, like, the, is the cutest puppy in the whole entire world. He's got this little wagging tail. And <sighs> so the, the wizard, he had his own pet... And the wizard sparkle, had a pet. Oh yes, the, the wizard had Sparkle Fluffy Nose, and I'm pretty sure Sparkle Fluffy Nose is recruiting all of the animals of our village to go and carouse in, in <clears> the <throat> middle of the woods or something. I just, awesome. I just want Zeusy Woosy back, and and if we could get Aloysius back, that'd be awesome too. And I think some of the stuffed animals from the town have been disappearing. I don't really know why. I think that maybe, mm. maybe Sparkle Fluffy Nose thinks that they're actual animals. I don't know, but if you could just maybe find our pets for us. So that would be find great. animals and flowers and gorillas. What I don't mean, know what? anything about where, gorillas, but where are they sure. going in the woods? I if I knew that, I could go and find them myself. What's your name? You're you're not very smart. I would just Always. go find it myself. Oh my god, don't even start with me. So I don't want to, to stab today. him. Yeah, I mean, that'd be great. No, no Okay, well, Okay, Ra Ryu Kin, can you bear with me? You haven't even paid your Thieves Guild dues. Eros is an up-to-date, or um, Alar is a up-to-date member of the guild. So no, we don't get stabby-stabby. We get we get dogs, we bring them back. That way, someone owes us a favor. I, that way, we do the right thing at the right time, and we can help all of these good people, I say, I say to the crowd. He, he um, talks a lot. I think I stabbed really them both. just want to stab him. I stabbed them both. But yeah. hoping that, yeah. hoping no, that was my idea. Since when Wait. do you want to do the right thing? First, first we're supposed to take baths. Right? We came here for a bath. I'm fine. Oh. Uh, Are you sure? Love one of those. Definitely. Well, well how about this? 
May, may, may recommendation, Sandra, Bellinor, please. Like, you know, you do need a bath. I wasn't going to say anything, but you do. And we can sit here, we can get some information from Alar and his two red shirt companions, and we can try to figure out where all the rocks, the dogs, the flowers went, and we could just put a nice bow on all of this, come back and have a pint. Pint sounds good. I'm with Cora. Yep, ale. Where's the ale? Wait, um, first of all, uh, what, what, what does this uh, puppy of yours uh, look like? What kind of dog is it? A, the cutest dog you've ever seen in your life. Oh. What color? Brown and white and black and purple, too. Yes, purple. Purple. Mm. That was and, definitely and, a dog then. Yeah. Um, so is, uh, are, are the people that are going to bathe and do that thing doing that thing and we're getting drinks or? I'm already drinking. I don't know about you guys. Okay. What DM you is that, that Dungeon Mandy? Yes. So yeah. uh, the people who want baths are going and getting baths. Um, you leave your bags and et cetera stuff behind unless you're wanting to like take any small things with you, but like the bigger things, they are staying at the table. Um, you go and take baths and everybody else is drinking and chatting for a second. Um, unless anybody wants to do anything of inspecting around or having rambunctious fun. You do you. Polo's going to find a nice place to sit. All right. You find the most glorious chair you've ever seen in your life and it is big enough for your shell and everything oh this is a glorious chair you use that word a lot I, you're I just do. a really enthusiastic fellow hey Thank you. so so alar um so, uh, these are these are my good friends we have i mean bell, bell and Arsene, you say the, the uh, dwarf he, he's a dwarf it's a whole thing we have a whole rapport Anyway, uh, uh, Vilana, uh, she's a warlock. Uh, you met Olo, and um, so nice to meet you. Now that we're all caught up, what else do you know about this little uh, um, sparkle fluffy nose? Is he of the Newport fluffy nose family? I'm fucking uh, with you. He, I'm uh, with you. Sparkle fluffy nose is a pet. I don't know anything about it other than that he's a pet. Listen, listen, what have you hey. seen? What other pets have you seen? And what have you seen of this wizard? Why do you know the guy? Um, nothing other than he's evil and he makes things magical and everybody has to learn magic to protect themselves, which is why I turned you into a rabbit. I'd say sorry about that, but I'm not sorry about that. That sounds like a very broad that was generalization. Awesome. I'd like to inspect the room and see if I recognize anything. Um, so you see, uh, roll, roll something, roll insight, roll perception. <clears throat> Perception, actually. Okay. <coughs> you uh, may need to actually like physically roll because apparently things are failing in roll 20. Oh, good. Okay. You can also type the slash roll and then the thing. Okay, so uh, you see a whole bunch of beer and wine and some nice finely made tables. Um, you see a couple other patrons that are drinking and carousing and you see off in a corner a couple um, not quite adults um, who should probably be in school, but they're not, they're skipping school and they are canoodling. Nice. Um, and then you see everybody around you, the party, um, and then you see a loot case and a pack from Sandra and Bellinor. On the loot case, you see writing, but you can't quite make out what the writing is. Ooh. What's on that? <laughs> I'm going to walk over to the loot case and take a closer look at it. Okay. Um, so you walk over to the loot case. And what language do you speak? Or do you actually, do you speak elf? I hey, what language so. do you speak? You speak the common? <laughs> <laughs> what is the common? <laughs> the common. Do you, do you understand, speak, and read elven? I believe so. Yes. Okay. Um, so you will see that there is the name of a band on there 
And the name of that band is the Backstreet Elves. Oh my God. Is this the loot? Is this it? This has got to be the loot. Okay, Vilena, are you whispering to yourself over in the coat check? God, you- no, get out of here, what you- Iros. What are you doing Vilena, in there? Are, are you praying? That's not where you're, I know your God is like really involved in your life, but it's probably not in the coat. What do you got? What is that? What, what, what is what? This is nothing, nothing. There's nothing here. Does that say- And I kind of like push the loot case behind me a no. little bit. You can't hide that. Yes, yes, I can shoot. Shout, does that mean does that mean that one of them is here? I know there's a so. door yes. wagon outside. There was oh a door god. wagon. Yes. I saw it was yes. a big long one. Oh my yes. god. It smelled like it smelled like pot and people who are like have like way too much perfume on. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Who's, who's your favorite? You gotta be here. Who's your favorite? I'm not, can't tell you that. <laughs> my favorite is Nick. Oh, she, she, we're, we're, Jesus okay. Christ, were you, you guys talk you very loud. From? You, oh. Everybody can hear you. Look over, and the whole bar is just staring at us at the coat check. I, I, I take, I take uh, Vilena and Ryukin out uh, into the eve uh, by the by the door, just past the coat check, and go. Oh man, are they doing a concert nearby? Why the fuck are they all the way out here? I love the Backstreet Elves. There's that, uh, there's that one that I'm not gonna sing right now because I wouldn't do it just. Oh no, please, please don't do it because you would just totally ruin it. <laughs> Olo's yeah. talking to the person next to him, like, did you hear that? Eros called me his friend. Aw. It's so cute. <gasps> Eros, we should go look at every room in the inn and see if they're here. I I just I I flip up a finger and you just see me just magic, like magic card trick a couple thieves tools up. And I'm like, I've never wanted anything more. <sighs> Let's go. Um I guess I'll watch everyone's stuff then. <laughs> Dungeon Mandy, uh, Olo, so Valena, Ryukin, and and Aero just go like book it up the stairs. <laughs> so Olo and Dwarik are still drinking. Is that what's yes. going on? All oh. right, perfect. Oh, and th- then Sandra the... and and Bellinor are are bathing. Um, all thought, right. I thought you were part of the bath crew, uh, Dwarik. No. All right, so Olo and Dwarik drinking. are drinking. Yes. Um, Sandra and Bellinor are bathing. Eros, Valena, and Ryukin are booking it up the stairs. So um, you get up the stairs, and there is a hall <sighs> with four doors on one side, three doors on the other side. Four doors is right, three doors is left. I check right, you check left. I check left, okay. you check right. Okay, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm going to stand here and let you guys do all the work. Okay. This sounds like my sex life. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 right. Not with me. And oversharing. It's a cultural thing. I get. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, yeah, um, stop, Vilena, stop, Vilena. Stop, Vilena. Stop, oh, stop, stop, listen to me. Listen to me. Shh, shh, shh. Eros. Watch the back. Watch people coming up the stairs. I know this is your first heist. It's okay. It's just not my first heist. Just excited. We'll talk about that. And I later. turn around and just walk away from him and stand over I the start, stairs. Uh, I, I start fucking rolling thieves tools on these doors and getting okay. getting in there. Um, you can get in. The, these are very easy doors to break into. They're not very um, hard locks. So you're able to get into each one. Probably takes like a minute or two, but you're you're breaking in. You're entering. Um, the you're on which side? Left side or right side? Left. So the first two rooms are empty. There's nothing there. Uh, Ryukin, are you also thieves tooling and breaking in? Yes. All right. So uh, um, the first room is Sandra bathing. I'm going to sneak out and close the door. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to throw the washcloth at the door. You hear a, a loud thump noise of the washcloth hitting the door. It's like a little bit squelchy and just it happened. Um, Swap. Are you can are you going to keep moving on? Check door number two. All right, you check door number two. You open it up. It is thankfully empty. But all of you off in the distance now are, are starting to uh, to hear something. You are hearing somebody singing. And the t- the the sounds of the song and the the timbre of the voice, the tone is 
relatively familiar. It's not like you can't quite place it, but it, you can kind of, you've heard it before a little bit. I know this song. You don't, you don't think it's them, do you? It's gotta be them. I, I know it's them because my whole life has led to this moment. Look, my kids love this band and I keep telling them like, you know, oh, we were gonna, we're gonna buy the music and then there's that whole pod thing that like plays it aloud. This is it. This is the stuff that I love. They don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it's them. And the singing okay. is getting slightly louder, but the words are not words that you guys have heard before. You're this hearing is... some words about dumb rogues. Okay, this is a remix. And um, <laughs> you're hearing some words about rabbits. Okay, this is a really specific remix. <laughs> and the... Uh, <laughs> You can tell by now that the singing is coming from the last door on the left. Oh my God. It's that one. This new song is amazing. Here, I'll open the door. I, I go skirting along the hallway and I, I, dis I, despite the fact that I do think it's weird that the, uh, the little bit about the rogues and the whole rogue team we have, I blow right past that doubt. I see that red flag and I go, uh-uh. And I open that door. And inside the room, with his back to you, under a stream of water in a shower, um, you see Bellinor singing his little heart out. Dumbass turned into a What? Get, hey, get out of here. What are you doing? God, you're the ugly one. Is that, a, is, that a butter, is that a butterfly tattoo? And I shut the door. <laughs> All right, guys. They've got to be here somewhere. He's got to be here. He's got to be in here somewhere. Hmm. I um did. Okay, I agree. Did we look inside that loot case to see if maybe maybe they have the thing and they're elsewhere? Because if it's still in there, here's the thing. I wouldn't travel. <laughs> without you know my thieves tools typically mm -hmm. bards don't travel without their musical instruments musicians don't travel without their musical instruments i would like instead of wasting our time check what's in the case if loot is there he's here and we can keep this chase going uh, if it's out then we can head elsewhere and find the most important person in my life we I only like, have a few more doors to check yeah, Ryu, can you get those doors <laughs> It Aros, seems like go get the loot. It seems just like bring it up here. I'm 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 literally already down the stairs. Like you just hear like there's a the 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 the, the kick up of dust in a little swirl. <coughs> oh, uh, once the last you door on the right. Uh, the last door on the right is very clearly the innkeeper's personal chambers, and uh, his wife is sleeping in the bed, and you just woke her up. <gasps> Fuck! Oh, this, this isn't our room. <laughs> Silly of us. Sorry. And I shut the door. Oh, She's glaring, glaring daggers at you. Ryuken, okay? let's get downstairs. And I run downstairs. Bye bye bye. Downstairs, Olo is talking to the proprietor, like you're crafting this, uh, different flowers. Do you need a daisy? How about a rose? No. No. Lilac? No, it, it's yellow. It's a special flower. It's Daffodil? No. Orchid. N no. Able Passing vice. by Buttercup? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's none of those. It's one specific Sun field of flowers. Sunflower. Sunflowers no. are yellow. It, I mean, they kind of look like no, no. It, the wizard made these flowers and they're magical and they're poisonous and they're dangerous. But flowers they're also the are only magical. Way Yes, that's what I just said. The flowers are magical. Well, I meant all flowers. No, not all flowers. Just this flower. Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> and with that... the metaphoric sense! <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when Eros gets to the loot case, I'm going to need you to roll a thieves tool check. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Let's talk that rose gold. We were talking about this earlier because it has that real satisfying weight and they thunk. 
Um, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> they thunk to I, a natural I, I, one. <laughs> I, they, they they thunk to a not great. Uh, but if I throw this one, I will lose a window. Uh, so, um, I am wont to do that. Uh, so my sleight of hand. Oh, it's plus five plus proficiency. Or no, it's already got that. So plus five. Um, ten flat. Okay. Um. You're going to be working on this for a while. You can kind of feel that like the, the catch is there and you can mm -hmm. almost get it. But I mean, you're going to be working on this for probably five to 10 minutes before it's going to pop open. I look at the coat check girl who I'm sitting like at her feet and I'm like, I'm, and I'm just like, I, I, I take out 10 gold and I just put them on her, on her knee and I just go, let me have this. And I just. She grabs the gold and puts it inside of her coin purse and gives you like a little wink. I'm gonna run up behind arrows and shake them. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Stick it to Dwork. What are you doing? Oh, Dwork is muted. Nope. No, nope, still. We'll work on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna poke arrows. You're doing it wrong. You, you have to go the other way. Like, be like water. You have to go with the light. Be like water. Give, give, it, give it to Ryukin. You're useless, Eros. Give it to Ryukin. Literally, you have, not, you have not even given me that opportunity to do this right now. No, no you need to hurry up. You are taking, taking way too long. Taking too long. I, 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 I walk up to him and I go, you got to try, like, you got to be like water. You got to just get in there. You got to fill it and you got to be like water. Oh my God. That's how you sound. I still Sandra know. Sandra. I know you. I stab you later. Oh, do you guys, uh, do Sandra and Bellinor, do you continue your showers after you have gotten, uh, after, after you've been burst in on? Uh, up yes, afterwards. but yeah, very quickly. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to be the first one done with the shower. All right. I think okay, I might be hearing be something now. from Dwork. There you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwork, what are you doing now? So as I'm drinking and I'm looking over at Olo and the innkeep, uh, I want to mention, like, wait, you said the flowers are also poisonous? Oh, um, just a little bit. It's not too bad. Just a little bit. Yeah, just So just a it's a poisonous. field of poisonous magical flowers. Yeah, there's um well there's there's a sprinkler system and if you activate the sprinkler system, um then the pollen, which is really the only poisonous part, um it won't actually like pop up and you only actually get hurt when you sneeze, so it'll be fine. You just I just need like thirty seven million of these. I'd be okay with like three hundred, but thirty seven million would be better. Yeah. All those just kind of looking like just like uh yeah, uh pollen and spores, poison. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Spore Druid, how's it going? <laughs> oh, what? Who, me? Uh, where, where is this field located, presumably? Oh, the field is the first thing that you're going to get to when you start going into the realm of the wizard. So you just have to head east for a little while and you'll hit there. It's, it's a big, 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 big yellow field of flowers. You're not going to be able to miss it. You sure they're not sunflowers? Uh, yes. Just checking. And Sandra, at this point, you are done with your shower. You have arrived downstairs. I am going to uh, plop down at the uh, table with Olo and Dwork and ask for a beer. Who are you asking for a beer? Are you asking Olo and Dwork? Are you going to ask uh, the innkeeper? <laughs> I haven't touched. My, I haven't. I haven't touched mine yet. You can have mine. Oh, thank you. I'm You're gonna welcome. drink it, probably pretty fast. Okay. And uh, Bellinor, now we'll assume that you have finished your shower and you are heading on downstairs. I feel nice and fresh and ready to do a performance. Now. Uh, I'm gonna head down and grab my loot, and oh god damn it! All right, all right. Which idiot was it? Was it the him? No. All of them. Uh, fucking true. Do I? Do I? Do I see them? Um, over 
Roll perception. With a 10. Okay, so um, you don't see them fussing with it. You see over near the coat check that there's a, a girl kind of sitting on a stool, just like twiddling her thumbs. Um, and you kind of, you can see from behind the like, there's like a railing, like almost like a bar. Um, you can see some heads popping up and down every so often, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you don't. You don't actually see anything except that, like, you can kind of tell that one of them has pointy long ears oh, and brown maybe, hair. Maybe they were considerate for once and gave my uh, loot to the coach. Nice. I, I head over there. And you see the coat check girl. Um, how close are you? Are you like right near the wall or are you stopping before you get to the girl? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk right up to the, the counter. Oh, okay. There. Um, you, if you look over the counter, you can see three forms huddled in front of a loot case. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that you need to go counterclockwise. The idea is that with these era locks, you know it's counterclockwise, and then it's a backhand turn left. Oh, it's, then it's, why it's, couldn't you get it open? And why couldn't you get it? You talk, you talk, I cannot hear the clicks. You talk too much, I cannot hear the clicks. I'm not talking too much. Eros is talking too much. Eros talks too much. Yes, see, Eros talks too much. Hey, guys. Uh, What you doing there? Hey. Nothing? What are you doing? I I grab grab Bellinor by the the shirt collar and I pull him down behind the bar as well. Pass Uh, the coat check, girl. Um... Roll a dexterity saving throw, Bellinor, because you are ripping him over a wall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what would you give me to effectively just jujitsu him into like a resting position, like a baby? Um, <laughs> roll strength. Oh, I'm fucking awful at that, but uh, <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, but a seventeen. After modifiers. Okay, so uh, Bellinar, you're able to get over this half wall without injuring yourself, and you are now in Eros's arms, being cradled like a baby. You guys adorable. <laughs> oh, Bel- Bel- Bellador. Uh, hey, Be- Bellinor, like we're trying to break into this. Like, have you ever heard of the of the Backstreet Elves? Uh, we really think that they're like their uh, le- like their lead dude is here, and yeah. so I'm like breaking. I'm, I'm, we want to see what's in the case. Yes, yes. Help us open it. I, I guys, I, oh, God damn it. I, I used to be a member of the Backstreet Elves. That's why it's on the case. The name. I drop him. <laughs> oh, you. So this is yours. Okay, you you have a very different reaction than I do. Blana, Bellinor, yeah. what happened? Right, you can don't stop, please. You can you can you can work and listen. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you want him to continue breaking into the loot case <laughs> with Bellinor right there. <laughs> I yeah, don't know that he's not lying to me yet. <laughs> he's a little rat. Um, I, so I, I, I don't owe you dues. Yes. Deal. Okay. So get, as Bella was on the get, ground, get out I, of there. Come on. I go, you said you, you said used to. You said used to. Yeah. Yeah. Used to. Because it turns out there are a bunch of talentless hacks besides me. So you agree you're a talentless hack. I, I, I put up a hand for a quick little high five from Verlana. Um, and I say, Bellinor, do you still know these guys? What happened? As I'm like looking up at the coat girl to see if she's like waiting for the next bribe to deal with this. Um, Dwarik, as all of this is happening, you uh. see coming down the stairs a very stately woman, um, mid 50s, black hair, slightly streaked through with gray. Um, she walks down the stairs. She looks tired. She ignores everybody and she is going straight to the innkeeper. I'm just going to look over and I'm like, 
pay attention and try to hear, see if I could hear what they're saying. All right. Um, so you can't catch everything, but uh, you can kind of hear um, the, the innkeeper's wife going, and they, they broke in and they interrupted my sleep. And I think that they picked all of the locks of every single door up there. And, and I don't know what was stolen. All right, uh, Sandra Olo, I think it is time to get the group and go. I owe Olo again. a drink. They're at it oh, again. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thank you. They're at it again. It's. Uh, I'll uh, I'll grab all the extra bags and stuff that we have on our table that were left by whomever else was not at the table at that moment. Okay, you have all the stuff. Uh, yes, I will get up and uh, trot over to the uh, coat check and slam my hand on the uh, counter. Uh, you see the the girl at the coat check, like, oh, oh, oh uh, what? You also hear four people go, oh. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go. What? What? No. What? We, we have to break into Belano's case. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I think he's the, hiding someone in it. Innkeeper's wife already know you broke into the hole upstairs. Let's well, go. He, you did what? No. That, 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 well, was, hey, that was Alice. Terrible. Well, sound sound like me. Terrible. That doesn't sound then, like at all. You see the girl sitting on the on the bench or on the, on the stool walk over and uh, go to the innkeeper and um, the innkeeper's wife and you can see that there's a definite family resemblance. Oh no! And she starts. So they're related. And talking. That's weird. Oh god! I, they're related. Olo's going to expedite this by using druidcraft to make a skunk smell in the coat check room. Dun, dun, there dun. are coats in there. Oh, god! It's time to go. So I Real just took a shower. Oh! I, I, I get outside I, first. Not so many words. I bone the fuck out. <laughs> I think Sandra beats you. So Sandra's out first, followed by Eros, and then whatever pecking order you guys want to go into. Um, so well, you can are... grab the case and run, and I sprint out after Eros. I try to grab the case first. And uh, so as you are all running out of the inn, you see... Um, Behind you, if anybody is look, is anybody glancing back to look at the end at all? Let's actually just check this first. Oh, oh yeah. Dungeon Mandy, you know I am. Okay, so Eros, um, or and anybody else who is looking back to check out the inn, see you can see the innkeeper, um, like starting to to run after you guys, but then he stops, and don't come back. Oh wait, no, um, do come back because I need those flowers, and yeah. Please bring bring the flowers. There's too many people turning into rabbits here. And and Zeusy Zeus, right? No, sh I, sh I don't. Oh, Zeusy Zeus, what? And then you hear oh. from in flowers within. And pets. We're, we're, you hear we're from within the inn the chorus of everybody yelling, "No, we need our pets. Who cares about your flowers?" Everybody's trying to run away, and I'm I'm. I'm on Olo's <laughs> back, just like, come on, buddy, let's go. We're all running. Come on, man. Come on, Olo. We're running out of here. Let's go, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys are traveling. Um, it's not a far travel to where on your map has been marked the beginning of the wizard's domain. Um, so you get there and you are greeted by a field of flowers in rolling hills. It's flowers as far as your eyes can see. Um, bright yellow. And then you can see underneath, like in, off in the distance, like just rolling beautiful green lush hills. Like everything is definitely enchanted to grow better and more beautiful here. You are at an edge of a field of flowers now, friends. Are there right. some flowers? <sighs> For those of you who don't know, uh, these flowers are poisonous. What? I thought I thought arrows fixed them. And enchanted, from what I can tell. Um, Ryukin, thank you. I appreciate it. But the bigger concern here is 
is this getting into the water supply that is going to affect Myers Edge? Sorry, I've got a, I've got a family now. I'm thinking differently about just the way I plan where I live. Come on, Eros. Get, Look, okay, okay. So, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. What I'm, so wait, what I'm thinking, the why has anyone was trying else... to send us in to get these flowers, but they're poisonous? The pollen. He said something about a sprinkler system. If we turn hey, that oh, on, it will be all right. Hey, I'm Olo? here, Valinor. Yeah. I, o- I'm Olo giving Valinor his little... stuff that I've oh, been carrying. Oh, Olo sneezes? And like a, a plume of Thank like spores something. just come off of him. It just, uh, just... Okay. Um, sorry. God. Olo, you... <sighs> I was standing right Take behind Take six you. points of damage. Sucks. What do you What do? you do? <laughs> Hold on. So you sneeze and then you take six points of damage. What do oh. you do? I, I mean, I, I rolled for the damage, so. No, no. I'm looking at him. Okay. I'm Because I, I see him sneeze and go, ow! My, my, my spores have never done that before. Yeah. But- Usually they hurt other people. Let's burn all did this just, down. Did you just sneeze so Sorry, hard you hurt you yourself? Said something. I don't know. I get it. I mean, I am really old. It happens. Dwarf, what are we looking for? Uh, these sprinkler system. Uh. Anybody see a switch, a knob, a something to turn? A lever? Anybody that is looking for a knob, a sprinkler switch, or something to turn, please roll me a perception check. Yep, that that won't do it. That uh, nat 30, one though. Dirty I, rolled a, I rolled a seventeen. Okay, um, Sandra and Dwarik, you can see in the middle of the field there is a sprinkler system that is popping up out of the field, and it's it's kind of circling like a telescope. Um, satellite like just turning around it's not on though um about to be dwarik you can see on the pole that um there is a button and valena and eros um you guys both sneeze and valena takes five points of damage eros you take four points of damage Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry, fun. I didn't mean to. Oh, what did you do? That hurt so bad. I came up to flowers. I okay, think- let's light it on fire. Or, is it, light is on fire. that what you're talking about? And yes. I'm pointing at the... the fire, 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 yeah, this fire. This is what no, I can no. see. I've seen the do this a bunch of times, and it results in fire. I pull out my torch, and I throw time. it no, in the middle of the field. No fire. No fire. We need these flowers. Um, we so We around- don't need them. Someone else needs them. Light them on fire. Correct. We the, promise. These hurt me. Valena, did you throw your torch? Anything. I did, yeah. No. Um, so no. your your torch is thrown and it catches on fire, but it doesn't really seem to catch. So you've destroyed about like probably five to seven feet of the flowers, but it, it's not <laughs> it's not too bad. Uh, Sandra, you take four points of damage and Dwarik, you are going to sneeze and take six points of damage. All right, I have poison resistance. You are going to sneeze and take three points of damage. Mm-hmm. I love how anticlimactic that is with Valen and I are yelling about fire and she's like setting a torch and I'm like, you're on, yeah! And she just throws it and it goes, it lands and sets like five feet of maybe at most flowers on fire and we're just watching it like. Okay, so this is in California, you guys. I will go and turn it on. Soon? Uh, you're walking through the field of flowers? Yes, I'm covering my face. Okay, um, so it's oh. about like 20 feet through the field. Okay, um, so. She wouldn't eat the mushroom. With every. <laughs> uh, you're gonna t- You're gonna sneeze and take two points of damage. And then you're gonna sneeze and take three points of damage. And then you're gonna sneeze and take one point of damage. You got lucky on that one, and now you are at the sprinkler system. Uh, just to be sure, that was in total six damage? Yes. All right, I'm going to see if uh, there's the on switch on it somewhere. 
There is a very large button that says on and it is green. Oh, I'm pressing it. You press you the read? button. <laughs> What's, you can't just yes. ask people if they can read arrows. <laughs> yes, I press the button. <laughs> So the you press the button and green means um, go. Green means go. So go go go. The water starts uh starts jetting out and it's it's a like sprinkler that goes and all the way around. Um and as it's going, you can kind of see like this pollen is magical. So you couldn't really tell when it was all around you in the air. But now that it's wet and being weighted down, like you can kind of see that there's a slight haze that is no longer all like everywhere. Um, and, and and also I think that it's effective. As it hits the torch. Oh yes. <laughs> oh no, that that fizzled out long ago. Like Kick that down. was 10 seconds ago. Arrows get over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sandra got this going. Let's uh I'm picking flowers as I walk yeah. back to them. Flowers, Olo flowers. Olo's just like picking one, admiring it, putting it in a shell, picking one. Hmm, this is a nice one. So you can pick up the pace a bit, shell. Olo. Yes, that's how this works. I'm, I'm picking up stuff like mumbling to myself, like they won't let us carry anything in there. Well, I maybe if you, I don't you know, touch it. Maybe if you ask nicely, like, and rather than me just like waking up and finding it in there. I'm picking like handfuls. Like, Consent I, I, I'm is not very being important careful. Now. I'm picking up as many as I can. All right. So everybody that is picking yeah. up flowers can. All right. And no damage or anything is happening. You are not feeling any effects. You're not feeling like you need to sneeze anymore. You are you're good to go. All right. One task done. Sandra, how do you feel? Do you feel like different? What do you mean different? You took a lot of that stuff straight to the face. Like I saw, like there was a cloud and most of it disappeared. Like you like went <gasps> like almost like to, to, to you, like you were challenging it. My nose hurts a little. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're bleeding like real bad out of there. Um, Olo oh. casts Goodberry. Yeah, let's get that. Let's touch that up. Oh, yeah. Olo casts Goodberry, and it looks like, rather than like berries, I imagine little like healing mushrooms pop up on his shell, and he like picks them, and he gives ten good berries to Sandra. Oh, I'm gonna eat them all right now. The mushrooms now. Oh, doesn't yeah. one make you full? One She's makes you finally full. eating the mushrooms. One is one hit, hit point. Yeah, but one makes you, f I, I don't mean to like, yeah, yeah. Sandra, I want you to get the 10 hit points, but I want you to describe eating 10 full <laughs> meals while bleeding through the nose with like, I can only assume like two pieces of fucking like fabric up there like this to soak it up. So um, Sandra takes the mushrooms all in one hand and pops them all into oh, her oh, mouth. Oh man, oh wow. One way that, to do it. That's, that's It's like when you good. eat a mouthful of saltines and she's like, <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna be working on that for a while. Yeah, yeah. C can I can I have some water? Wait, wait, wait. There's like a sprinkler around here. There, there, yeah. She's she got it. There we go. Oh my God, these are the people I travel with. <laughs> she just she just taking the sprinkler in the face. We are very competent. <laughs> there are some what? farmers up on a hill just watching us standing <laughs> on a pitchfork like damn adventurers. Water's water. You get it where you can. If the water has washed the blood off of my nose um, and I'm done, you know, choking down the mushrooms and the water's washed it down my throat and uh, I burp. <laughs> It's probably a fantastic Goliath-sized burp, so I think that I, I wish that I could make you do it, but I'm not going to actually make you. Oh, do I that. can't! I can't burp on command either. So, okay, duly noted. Duly noted. Um, all right, so we have flowers picked. A Goliath who no longer has a bloody nose but has a very full stomach, um, and we have a rogue assassin with a mask who has been standing back, not doing very much. 
Ryukin, got anything you want to say before we have your party carry on? I don't want to touch any of this. This all looks disgusting. She just ate the mushrooms on his back. You don't know where they've been. They're on my back. Exactly. Wait, Eros, you told me to, to eat the mushrooms off his back. I did. Damn. Oh, you were the first one to do it. Hey, Sandra, congratulations. I grab her hands and I'm like, ah, good job. Right on, girl. That's so oh, good. Look. Can you hold these flowers? I just take them and like throw them back in my shell. There's like you look, four huge handfuls of flowers. You look beautiful, by the way. There's Just a lot of room. room. There's a lot of room in here. What is happening over here? <laughs> I look over. I, I say. I say to Bellinor, like as we're kind of standing there, like finishing up, like getting stuff on, loaded up onto onto the workhorse that is Olo. And I go, so like for how long? And you were always a loot player. Why'd you go solo? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it, w- while I was in the band, I was uh, I played the the flute. Oh, yeah, they, uh, you were the flute guy. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, and he, here's a bit of trivia. Um, Elwin, the the hurdy gurdy player. Yeah. Lip, lip lip synced every every single one of his performances. I that is blasphemous. You shut your yeah. you shut your whore mouth, Bellin, or no oh, wonder yeah. they shit did kick you out of the Wait. band. Yeah, yeah. It turns out getting fucked up and fucking fangirls doesn't help you l- remember lyrics. Wait. What? Oh no. What did you say? About Elwyn. He said they lip synced. I start what? picking more Every flowers. Single time. No, he did not. That's Ellen. not funny. That is not funny. You take it back right now. Sandra, Dwarik, and Ryukin, roll me perception. Eleanor, if you need any tips on going Olo, uh, you can just ask me because that's my name. 14. Oh, three. Uh, total of nine. Solo. Okay, yep. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> um, yes, you're in a field of flowers. There's a sprinkler going and you've been picking them. Oh, no, right. I have more flowers. As Ooh, much as I love me. flowers, uh, maybe it's time to get on. That's a wonderful idea. You're so smart, Dwarf. Doesn't do it for you, Dwarf. Don't like these here above land flowers. Ooh. Flowers. Ooh. Eros. And... He insulted Elwyn. I heard him. I just need to get my digs in when I can on the entire Dwarven race for hundreds of years of, of, of rivalry. Um, yeah, I did hear you. Belinor, I still think you're a liar. What proof do you have of this of this? heinous accusation do not argue with him then we can't get autograph from him later are you uh, if he knows them autograph we... i don't want dumbledore's <laughs> autograph not him uh, you, you sure it'll be it'll be pretty valuable when i uh when i hit it big solo oh yeah you don't care about you and your bitch tattoo you want their autograph oh, yeah. all right let's continue this way Okay, you lead the way. I will continue to argue with Bellinor about this. You start walking. All <laughs> right. Walk. Well, all Bellinor's you do is argue. So guys are walking. Um, bear with me while I make sure that this is the right one to go to. So you guys start walking, and you get up the hill. Um, and I mean it's pretty hilly, so you're it's a little tiring. You're just going up and down hills and up and down hills and. Uh, <sighs> So tiring, so hilly. Eventually, <laughs> you find yourselves deep in a forest. And I'm... you walk through the forest, there's a pathway, and eventually you're going to come upon this encampment. Yes, Eros. <laughs> I just saw that Bellinor has a picture of him as his token on Rule 20 <laughs> right now, and it is delightful. <laughs> like, he is just... <laughs> Beaming ear to ear. I'm gonna drop a. I'm gonna drop a picture of that in in the Discord, please. If you're not, following. could you could you imagine if that wasn't my token? <laughs> <laughs> I could hope. I, that would be even better. <sighs> well, this place looks nice. <sighs> I think this is. Gosh, I rest. 
So you've Mark, gone I up bet and you down. Need the rest too with those short little legs. Oh, very rude. That was uh, not called for. Jesus. You're the one who insulted Elwyn. Don't even start with me. Oh. Hey, no, no arguing. This is um. This is a thing. L I agree with her, even though it makes no sense. Lelena, you're you're Yon T, right? That's kind of like a part snake person. Yeah. I oh, just maybe, like a skin thing. You maybe we have a distant relative since we're both like reptiles. Maybe, Olo. Maybe. Ma way back. Distance. Yeah. Like distant, distance. Distant, distance relatives. You know. Oh, I'm. Yep. I want to. Legs? No legs. Camp. He has legs. All right. <laughs> Sandra. Do you not have roll legs? perception. That's an eight. Um, you see the fence that uh, is... There's, there's a fence. You can see it. There's trees. Um, there's a pathway. And you're in the middle of the woods. I'm also you Dwork's also gonna look around because he's tired of listening to the group. All right, Dwork, go ahead and roll perception. Nineteen. Okay, so you can kind of see there's a break in the fence. Um, Sandra wasn't able to see that break because she she didn't ha quite have the right angle, um, but you're a little shorter than her, so you could see that break. Um, not actually quite sure how the physics of that works, but just it works. Um, <laughs> And inside of the fence, there's an encampment. Um, and then you can kind of see um, some stuffed animals there. They're kind of piled up. Um, you can kind of see a couple carcasses. Um, they, they look very old. And you can ever so slightly hear a sh like a small yipping noise. Yip, yip. All right, pay attention, guys. Look Why over there. Yelling? Why are you yelling? Over where? What is it? I I look at I look at Dwork and I follow his finger. Yes, over there. And you guys hear that? No, are you too loud arguing? Okay, you're the one. You're the one yelling right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh, oh. all right. Got him. Are those look, are those they're, dogs. They're. Are they real? They I, do, real. I do very do, do very good dog call. I can get them to come here. All right. Yes. Yes, Ryugan. I would like you to do that. <laughs> He's part dog. That was out fucking standing. Where is that dog? There's a dog closer to us. No, oh no, that, 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 that was me. Wait, you're turn a around, dog? Bud. Turn around, bud. Just turn around. <laughs> Keep turning. And you can, you Keep can turning. hear. Keep turning. No, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. And, and now look down in three, two, there he is. That's who was making that sound. It was your friend. Oh. oh. Okay, now face back the way that we're going. Turn around. Go ahead and turn, turn around. And now we're all on the same page. All right. That was good. All oh, good. I'm going to start walking towards the uh, fence. Wait, wait, no, no. Let's let's send the sneaky ones in first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can help. Okay. I cast Pass Without a Trace on all of us. And I just kind of shake and some spore, like dark spores cover everyone. We're, we're, oh we're, my we're, God, more spores? Oh. Come on, man. Sneeze has already hurt bad enough. Shh. We're, we're being sneaky now. Since when? I'm going to start tiptoeing. Oh, I plus, hear it now. You have plus Dwarf, you were checks. right. Um, all right, so go ahead and let's have Ryuk and roll stealth for the entire group. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Just <laughs> pick your favorite rogue. That's cool. You can roll self the next time. <laughs> we take turns here, I Eros. I roll stealth. 
And we have plus 10. <laughs> All right. That's actually, that's a great oh. idea. Ryukin and Sandra roll stealth. We'll combine them as an <laughs> average, and then we'll add 10. 17. What? what? Oh no. Dirty 20. Oh what? Come on, <laughs> Goliath Barbarian. Hey, I have I have a plus you, four. All right, hold on a second. Can we please can we please describe how a Goliath Barbarian is sneaky? She please. has passed okay. without a trace. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's before the, the plus 10. So I have, have, seen, I have proficiency on stealth and I have a plus four. So I am tiptoeing, literally tiptoeing. You see only so, my toes. So you go up on down. your toes to make yourself taller as you're... <laughs> <laughs> I'm hunched down. But I'm she curled hunches. up. She hunches. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so we're like, we're talking like cartoon sneaky. Like, yeah, like hunch it over there. and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, you guys have a, an average of 28 and a half... Uh, stealth, so walk wherever you'd like. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Sandra comes zipping by me, and I go, she, but she's being super quiet, and I'm like... <laughs> I go straight to the fence, and then I peek over. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> under the fence. You're gonna go under the I'm fence? Through the, the crack. Through, through, oh, oh, the big crack. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, you can go through the big crack. Not, not Sandra's, the one in the fence. <laughs> That's for later. Doric. Yes. Doric. Yes. Do you want me to throw you over the fence? Ew. Are you sure? Yes, there's an opening. I can make it. Oh, you can throw me if you want. Fun, no. I don't think anyone can pick you up. I don't, I don't think so. Ask, ask Sandra. I can pick you up. I go, I go running at, I go running at Ryukin as he's kind of like getting settled, and I, you hear me going cheerleader, 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 and I go and like jump like I'm expecting him to know what I'm talking about, and I, I am looking to, get, <laughs> I'm looking to get thrown here, so just face me and go. All right, <laughs> uh, roll acrobatics. Seventeen plus modifiers, and I am a thief with second story work. We're going, boy is flying. Where do you want to land? Move my token. A twenty-four, a twenty-four. Where do I want to? Where do I want to land? Uh, can I see on the other side? Um, we're gonna say no because you didn't try to see before you started running. So yeah, we're. I make a I, with with my twenty-four and acrobatics. <laughs> with the twenty-four and acrobatics, as I'm flying through the air, I look at I look at Sandra and I say, "Hey, what do you see?" And I'm already gone, and I'm at four. <laughs> What do I see? For um, it's on me. Well, she doesn't really have enough time to actually tell you what she sees. Um, try dragging your token out from your sheet if you can't move your token. May have been a me problem. And you, okay. You have have to click on the name on roll (laughs) twenty. Because I put them in the map layer, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. So Please. you guys click your names. You should be able to control them. Yeah. If you click your name, then you should be able to just to drag your token out onto the thing yourself. Man, you can get rid of the other one that's uh, not moving right now. Okay. This, um, this, this is where you Money break landed, is brought to you way. by Die Hard Dice. That's right, Die Hard Dice. When you are worried about what the hell is going on with Roll20 because you are a rookie DM and you're like, players, I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best. Die Hard Dice. Wow, do you have a promo Not code? an actual sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, bing! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Oops. When the DM deletes the entire map... Good job, Mandy. Um, Alone. Yeah, so you landed there. Um, Is everybody where they would like to, like, basically be? Do you need a boost, Sandra? You can stand on my shell. There's there's no no I don't. I don't think I need a boost, but I don't want to squish your mushrooms. You ask the tallest person if they need boost. It looks like a tall fence. It's about... Six and a half feet tall. It's pretty oh, tall. Oh, so um, it comes up to 
here on me. <laughs> yep. So you can very clearly see over it, but. All right, what, what are you guys doing? I'm looking over. I want to see what's going on inside before I do anything else. Roll perception. What are you seeing there, Eris? What do I see, Dungeon Man? That's a 23. Okay. Um, you can see that uh, Sorry, there... Sorry, 22. That's fine. You're still able to see the same thing. Over here, there's a little cage. It has about three puppies in it. Over here, there's a smaller cage. It has two cats. Strewn throughout, there are... Um, a whole bunch of stuffed animals that are ripped apart. Their stuffing is all over. The heads are on one side of the the um, encampment. The bodies on the other side. Um, there is a fire that appears to be going. Um, it looks a little odd, though. Fire looks odd. The fire looks odd. How odd? Puppies. Kitties. <laughs> Kitties. I, I, I say to myself, so looking at the You're stuffing You're right next all to over. the fire, so if you want to see that the fire looks odd, you would be able to see With that, so. Pass Without a Trace, you can't hear, like, the sound is, like, super muffled. So you're yelling it's that, like, like, we can't <laughs> hear each other. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. All right, uh, at that point, when I see the puppies and the kitties, I'm going inside, and I'm going to try to um, open up one of the cages. Oh, was okay. there anything else that I saw in there? Um, I mean, there's carcasses and bones, bird skulls. I say, I looking, I'm looking at the bones, and I'm looking at the stuffing, and I go, someone has been either a very good dog or a very bad dog. I go inside, and I'm opening up the one with the, the, I, the um, puppies in it. It, um, the opening, like, the way to open it is, it's a very easy, um, way to open it like it's barely keeping them caged in at all um the kind of opening for the the handle per se is just a hole it's like this big um and there's like there's some scratch marks around it but that's you can open it there are now dogs that are loose awesome i open it and i let the dogs loose Oh Puppies, gosh. are you belonging to people in the town? You should Ooh, go let home. the dogs out. Oh, oh. oh. from the other side <laughs> of the encampment. <laughs> um, the dogs are are cowering in the back, whimpering a little bit. There's one that's barking. It he's just he's barking his head off. He's not cowering. Um, he's tiny. Um, about five pounds and then the the bigger dogs um there's a husky and a golden retriever and they're they're cowering but the, the chihuahua is just barking his head off at you oh whoa, whoa is whoa. there one of them that has the the brown and white and black and purple fur that is the chihuahua and the, okay. the fur is not purple it's the eyes that are purple olo's gonna take Stuff 10 you. minutes to ritually cast speak with animals you're i'm sorry <laughs> it's okay. setting up like, okay, okay. okay. so you, you sit you, down you, and yeah. um you start casting speak with animals at what point did you start casting speak with animals probably probably once we really realistically once we heard the barking and we got to the fence i would have started okay so, so i'm probably, gonna say that you're about four minutes in at this point I'm going to give you about four minutes in. Uh, Dwork concentration. Is, Dwork is going to ritually cast uh, Detect Magic. Okay. That's another 10 minutes. Uh, wh uh, when did you start casting Detect Magic? Uh, when we first got in and noticed the odd fire. Okay. You can start to cast Detect Magic. Uh, Olo, what was the other one that you cast after Pass Without a Trace, the one you just did? When I just did Speak with Animals? Okay. Just curious. 
and, and you're going to take 10 minutes. So I, we don't hear you chanting, but you're outside like crisscross applesauce, just. Yep. Zeusy Zeus. Zeusy Zeus. Yeah, you invited him. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The Chihuahua is uh, running out to you. I let it sniff me. You have been sniffed by a chihuahua, and now the chihuahua has uh, has run, is starting to run away from you through your legs. Out of fear? Can I, can I, do insight check on the chihuahua. <laughs> Go ahead and roll insight. Whoever wants to insight check the chihuahua. What fucking pound were you from, motherfucker? That's a 15 plus uh, four, 19. Holy um, shit, I better know whether you're fucking neutered or spayed and if you got your shots. <laughs> so this chihuahua has not gotten his shots. Um, <gasps> it is neutered. And it is Sorry. not afraid of anybody at all. It's booking. And and, mm. It is currently running towards the fire. He's Irish. trying to cook himself. <laughs> Dumb dog. I'm so, not taking that bait. So the puppy went between my legs, right? I between your legs, yep. So I'm, I'm kind of sort of flipped upside down watching the puppy in between yep. my legs go to the fire. I'm going to stand yep. up and start chasing the puppy towards the fire. Okay. What is everybody else doing? I am enjoying the show. All right, good. I'm There's investing show. in the kitties. Okay, I'm going to try to get the golden retriever. There. Um, the golden retriever is very scared. It's not coming out for anything. Oh, buddy. Chihuahua is running else? towards me. Chihuahua is running many, towards me. How many more minutes do I have? The fire. Uh, you have like nine and a half you minutes. You have six oh. more minutes. Yeah, I, I gave him four minutes. I gave Dwork like three minutes. Um, so you, you, Olo has six minutes. Dwork has seven minutes. Um, and the Chihuahua at this point jumps onto the fire, which is not actually fire, and takes a massive bite. It does actually hit and take a massive bite out of something. And I would like all of you to roll initiative. And then we're going to take our break. Hey, I rolled a 20 yeah. for initiative. You rolled a Better 20 girl. for initiative? What the? Okay, cool. So did I. He's like, fuck this chihuahua. 17 <laughs> minus one for a 16. All right, and initiatives are not total. working. So let me type all of these. Um, you can type I'm... them into your name so that it's also kept track there. Hey, uh, uh... Damn, you want to, uh, Jade? If you if you let us go, uh, we can probably get get that all squared uh, while we're while we're on break, Mandy. Yep, sounds good. Um, we will be back in roughly ten minutes. They are going to fight. What are they fighting? Who knows? Um, did I actually did I say what it was? No, but that's okay. Ooh. Wait, should you? Should Come you? I want to know. No, no, you can find out in ten minutes. So uh, my ritual. Come back and find out, friends. Then. Um, you right. actually know your ritual will still be about five and a half minutes away from being done. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Let's start ritual casting in a weird, strange place. <laughs> I'm to talk with the dogs. <laughs> I, I could have just said, oh, well, good boy. No, you had to sit. Like, you're not even near the dogs right now. <laughs> you could let me just bark at a dog again. <laughs> bye, bye, Jade. Greetings and welcome back. I'm actually kind of upset that you guys had to, you didn't get to see the ridiculous things that just happened on my computer screen. There were My Little Ponies and there was some twerking. It was a problem. <laughs> anyway, um, we, uh, we went away and um, everybody rolled initiative. I just want to make sure everybody could double check on your turn order that it is correct. That would be fantastic and wonderful and lovely. Yeah, yeah. Arrows is good. Cool. Um, Link's good. Speak now or forever hold your turn. I don't understand why this is... Oh, you know why? Because it's not actually a creature. Cool. Well, let me do this. Let me do this. 
it's not letting me do this. Roll 20. Oh, oh yeah. The, Doing the this break brought to you. <laughs> I'm, brought to the, by it. <laughs> I'm clicking the settings and oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Ark and Forge. I really like those guys. Doing stuff brought Doing to you by stuff. Ark and Forge. All right. There, there. <laughs> Wow, what's the what's the promo okay. code? Okay, um, all right. So uh, no promo codes here. Um, you guys all got super lucky, with the exception of Sandra. Um, you were all going before these thingies, but there is a dog who is currently biting something that is fire, but is not fire. Um, Manny, can you reset the stage, please? So I know like where the frick I am. I mean, just not you off are okay. So we have. Um, a forest within that forest there is an encampment which is surrounded by trees and by a fence there's a hole in the fence um as of right now we have dwarik uh eros belinor ryukin and sandra inside of the encampment um dwarik is currently ritually casting detect magic um, Olo stopped outside of the encampment and he is ritually casting speak with animals and Valena is just kind of chilling at the entrance to the, uh, the encampment. Yeah. And, um, yep. So that, that's kind of what's happening. We've got a fire that is at the back of the encampment. There's puppies, there's kitties, there's stuffed animals that have been ripped and bones all over the place. Um, and apparently you guys are all fighting now. So, uh, Sandra, what would you like to do? So, um, I am, I, I was chasing Zeusy Woosy, or Zeusy Zeus, because he was running towards the fire, and puppy, don't go in the fire. So, um, but then I guess I saw him bite the fire, and now I'm curious, and I'm still running towards it, so whatever happens when I hit it, hit yeah. A Goliath is chasing a Chihuahua into a fire. One more time. I'm, a seven-foot yes. Goliath <laughs> is chasing a four-pound Chihuahua through a wooden encampment into a fire. Yes. Getting my facts straight. Thanks. I mean, it's, that's important. It's important to get your facts straight. <laughs> this is terrifying. Like, Sandra, <laughs> no. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, Sandra. I, I guess I'm running headlong into the fire, whatever it is, so. All right. Uh, are you trying to punch it? You just running at it? What are you doing? Tackling it, I guess? Uh, okay, go ahead and roll that attack roll. Tackling this tiny dog. So that's a 10, because it's unarmed, right? Because it's a tackle. Okay. Um, let me just double check. I don't think that hits. That does not hit. So uh, you, I mean, you're tackling, you're going to hit it, but you're going to just kind of bounce off of it. Um, and you're not actually going to get any purchase on that. On the chihuahua. No, the fire. <laughs> I was chasing the chihuahua to stop it from going into the fire, but when, you know. Um, so that puts me right at the fire, though, right? Yes, you are right next to what appears to be fire that looks strange. Is there anything else that you would like to do on your turn? That was technically an attack, right? So I can't really do anything more unless drawing my sword since I bounced. I think you off can you can rage you can rage as a bonus action as a barbarian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if you use your action to dive and and uh, save a puppy, then there's nothing more fitting than to just balance that out with a good old fashioned. <laughs> not yet. It's more. Confounding. Why did I bounce off of a fire? Okay. Um, good. Dwork, you have just seen a Goliath and a Chihuahua run at a fire. Actually, have you seen it? You're ritually casting a spell. Um, you can choose to stop or you can keep going. It is your choice. You probably have about 
We're going to say, I think, five minutes left on your cast. Yeah, Dwork, Dwork stops uh, Rich Roy casting. He uh, has been looking at the fire while he's casting, and he uh, he gets up and uh, bears his uh, holy shield and his warhammer, and uh, you are not a natural fire. I know the forge. I know the fire. And he's just going to go, and he's going to swing at it. Because he's seen already a uh, Chihuahua bite it, and he's seen a Goliath bounce off it. And okay. whatever it is, he does not like it. Good to know. Um, go ahead and roll that attack. 24. That will hit. Roll damage. Well, the uh, damage was not as good as the roll. It is a four. Okay. Um, so your your sword definitely bites into this thing. The warhammer. Oh, your Warhammer, sorry. Your Warhammer definitely bites into this thing. Um, it it smacks it. You can feel that it's got some purchase. It hits it, but it, there's no blood. You can't really tell what it is yet because it's on fire. Well, it appears to be on fire. Is there anything else that you would like to do on your turn, my friend? No, that'll be it. Okay. Then we are going to go with... Olo, Olo, you are outside of the encampment. Ritually casting Speak with Animals. Yeah, he, being that he's behind the fence, he probably doesn't get a sense of what's going on, so he's still casting. Like, he's moving, like, leaves out of his little circle, uh, maybe, like, uh, putting some salt down, doing some, verb since it's Speak with Animals, some verbal exercises, like, bubber, uh, bubber, like, uh, brrr, like, doing some, like, vocal exercises, unique New York, unique New York. And uh, yeah, that's a, yeah, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Uh, the arsonist had oddly shaped feet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and that that's his turn. Still All just right. casting away. Perfect, uh, Ryukin. I'm going to smash it. All right, so you run up and you roll your attack. Uh, Eighteen with advantage with assassinate. Okay, um, that will hit. Damage? Uh, six plus two D6. Okay. Which is 10. 10 total or two D6 was 10? Uh, t- so uh, we uh, was 10. Okay, so 16 total damage. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna hide for my- Wait, Which square are you in- occupying? Oh, I guess I should have moved up. <laughs> yeah, please please move your token if you can. That way we can know. It is quite close quarters, everybody. Quite close. Quite close. And then uh, for my last action. Quite I close. Hide quite at the end of my turn. Uh, roll um, your, your uh, stealth, please. Okay. I forgot the word for it for a second. Uh, 16. That that you're oh. like I And it has disadvantage on its next attack roll before my turn. Next All turn. right. Good to know. And we are going to go with Eros next. All right. So uh, I'm going to 
slide my little self in there. Um, uh, drawing out my uh, rapier, I'm gonna take a look at this fire. Um, I can use a bonus action to dash, dis dash, disengage, or hide. Um, is there a way that I might be able to take a? Um, uh, can I take an action to investigate this and try to make some sense over what I'm seeing? Because this hasn't been right yet. You you can. Yep. Okay. Uh, what would you like me to roll? Um, go ahead and roll. Do you, hmm. why don't you roll me either nature, I don't know, arcana, or just straight Dealer's choice? perception? It's your choice. Dealer's you, choice. Perception, arcana, or nature. Nature, arcana, or perception. Got it. Uh, your choice blue, red, or purple, DM. Let's go with purple. Ooh, 19. Mm. Uh, let's 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 do a nice little. Um, yeah, I've got zeros across the board. Intelligence <laughs> was a dump stat. Uh, so and wisdom too, apparently. So God has made me. Uh, but on that, uh, but perception. Me just trying to perceive this. Twenty two. All right. Uh, um. Perception. So you peer into the flames trying to see what this is, trying to make it out. And you can kind of see as you're looking, you're squinting, you see a large black mass in the center. And as you continue to look at that black mass, you see kind of jutting out from it, one black spindle, spindle. another black spindle. Another spindle. And you just, you keep counting. And these spindles are moving slightly. There's spindly legs and stop. You see eight spindly legs encased in what could be flame, but now that you guys are up close to it, it's not giving off any heat really. Oh. And it, it looks more like spindles sparkles than it does actual flame this is a lot to take in <laughs> i'm sorry you just dropped a <laughs> lot in my lap <laughs> and i'm gonna use a free action which affords me about six words <laughs> to say i am very confused there's fire spider <laughs> And I'm going to use a bonus action to disengage and what you would call, once again, in not so many words, bone the fuck out up a tree. So That's I'm going to head idea. out to this tree behind me here. Um, I have second story work. So okay. there, so there is a, a um, climbing doesn't cost me extra movement. So I'm just going to scuttle my happy ass up a tree. You scuttle your happy ass up a tree. Um, and it's not on the initiative tracker, but the... Um, Flame Spider got a seven, so he is going to go next. Sparkly Flame Spider. Sparkly Flame Spider. Um, you may even say that New York's its name hottest could be club is Sparkle Fluffy Nose. Um, New York's hottest club is Sparkle Flame Spider. It has everything, and it is going to. Let's see here. Um, it's going to kind of turn its body. Um, everybody else has really only seen flames at this point. The only person who has actually like noticed what it is is Eros. So um Ryukin, you are going to see a flaming mass kind of lunge itself at you and it is going to bite at you. Um does a what's the plus uh, does a tw dirty 20 hit? A, what wasn't he dead. hiding though? Oh no, he was hiding. You're right. Disadvantage. Okay. Actually, and he wouldn't even see you, so he wouldn't even go for you. So he would go for. Sorry, Dwarak, coming at you. Thank God. I'm gonna re-roll that because it'd be rude if I wasn't. Uh, does a 17 hit you, Dwarak? Probably not. No. Okay. Um. So this lunging mass of fire goes and tries to um, bite Dwarak, it fails. And then it is going to, 
inexplicably poof out of existence and is not there. There's no fire in front of you anymore. Um, however, hold on a second. I accidentally closed something I wasn't supposed to. From outside of the encampment, you are going to this, see- This, however, brought to you by opening tabs. By opening tabs. Um, they're descending or lunging in from the trees and from the just surrounding area are now three other spiders. And they are going to go for Olo. Well, two of them are going to go for Olo. One's going to go for Vilena. So Olo does a 14 hit. And that so the two that are going for Olo, they are both just going to 100% miss. They're not going to be able to do anything to him because apparently my dice are not rolling well. But Valena does a 21 hit. Yeah, I think that hits. Does a 21 hit, DM. <laughs> All right, so you're going to take five points of piercing damage. Ouch. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, DC 11. How many points of damage? Ouch. Five. This many. She's such a little squishy warlock. I know. She's so mean. <laughs> Oh my god, it didn't work. I, I yes, roll twenty is not working properly because I failed at making my roll twenty. Uh, how's a twenty-one? You um, you can kind of feel that like there was supposed to be venom in that, but like it just uh, their venom sack must have like not worked at all. Um, so you feel you feel fine, other than the fact that you just got stabbed with a pointy bite of a tooth. <laughs> Um, all right, so that was the three other spiders that are most definitely spiders. They definitely look like spiders. And now it is Valena's turn. All right, oh, well, first of all, oh, goddamn, holy fuck, spiders are the fucking worst. I am going to run really far uh, away. Okay, what pathway are you taking? Uh, I am running you're gonna, right into the camp. All right, you're, there's going to be one attack of opportunity on you, which Are is not going to hit, so that's fine. All Are right, you disengaging. No, we're just running away. Oh. And then I am going to cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. When I find it. In my um, you should I guess. do it with your actual dice or with rolling because it's not going to work when you click. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, bro. Running. Um, what was that attack roll? Oh, yeah, I'm doing it. Um, You're fine. Eight that will not hit, unfortunately. All right, anything else on your turn, Melina? That's it. Okay, let's go to Sandra again. All right, so I'm going to look around because the, the magical fire thingy just vanished. And uh, I guess I saw Velena run into the camp for whatever re reason. Uh, so I'm going to look outside the camp and then I'm going to pull my sword and I charge out there and stabby stab whatever I see. All right, you uh, run outside of the camp. You see three spiders that you can stabby stab and take your choice. Pick your pleasure or your pain. I am going to um, stab the one that went for Velena, I guess. Although Would you I wouldn't know which one went for Velena. No, but the, the <laughs> one that is um, over there, away Closest from Closest to Polo. the. Okay, yep. I should probably actually move this one. Yep. All right. So go ahead and roll that attack. Yeah, melee gaming. <laughs> he wins, Mama. If you just sit at the table, you better just respect the game. 
Uh, that's a 19. That will hit. And that's an 11 for damage. How do you kill it? Uh, I swing up overhand, right down in the middle of its body. Okay. You slice it in two, um, guts and ichor and grossness um, spray out all over you. And there is now a spider carcass right in front of you. Anything else on your turn? I'm looking for the next thing for me to smash. Okay. Dwarik, there was a, a flaming thing in front of you. Now there is no flaming thing in front of you. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What's that? He turns around and looks at the uh, the camp to see where else it's going. He's going to uh, go follow Sandra uh, to attack something else. Okay, you run out. You follow Sandra. Yeah. And pick your poison. We did that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you did. <laughs> we'll go after. Did you see the one I just pinged? Yes. Go ahead and roll your attack. Fourteen. That will hit. Ten. Um. Okay. Do you want to describe Sorry. your attack? Oh. Not just ten. Sorry, oh. I forgot to add my uh, modifier. Okay. How do you kill it? And thirteen. I am going to rush in with the warhammer, and I'm just gonna reach up real high and just slam. Warhammer down as hard as I can. There is a very smooshed spider in front of you now. Anything else on your turn? That'll be it. Olo. Some spiders ran at you. People are running out and killing <laughs> spiders around you. Are you still casting your spell? No, I was I was in the middle of something and I turn and take my quarter staff and just kind of bop it on the head. Kind of like uh, Art, like Yoda smacking R two D two in Empire. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, do you know our market or what? <laughs> yeah, I love that image. Go ahead and roll that attack. That's a seventeen to hit. That will hit. And that's eight points of damage. Okay. It uh, it kind of cringes back a little bit, skitters back in pain, but it's kind of still holding its ground. It's not dead yet. Uh, I still, I think that's all I can do. Okay. We are now at Ryukin. I'm going to notice that Zelina ran in. I'm going to notice that Arrow ran at the tree. I'm going to run over up there and start calling up to him. What are you doing? Come help us! You coward! You see, you see me notch you see me notching an arrow and just looking down at him. Anything uh, else on your turn? Uh no, that's gonna be it for me. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. I love it. Uh Belinor. Okay, okay. I'm going to uh walk up. Wait, no. One, two, three. 30, yeah, I'll just go up here and okay. then uh, viciously mock this other spider. Okay. It fails. Okay. I, I say uh, spider, more like uh, dead or... <laughs> <laughs> takes how, more damage. <laughs> how do you kill it? How, Mandy, how, does, Mandy, how does it react to this insult? Please. I mean, ho hopefully, it ho hopefully, the sound of someone losing at Price is Right. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Fun fact, my four-year-old taught my three-year-old how to do that. So randomly she'll just be like telling jokes and go, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. That's a better comedic timing than most of us. <laughs> Let me tell you, she didn't learn that from Bova. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. He will cry. He's watching. Oh, He's watching man. right now. Bova, please don't start crying. I don't want to <laughs> have to dry your tears, Bova. Don't cry. <laughs> it's okay, Bova. He'll just kill you later. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so this spider has been mocked viciously. Um, it is not a spider anymore. It is a dead er <laughs> and eros is in a tree what would you like to do on your turn eros make a make a statement <laughs> i guess go, um, go ahead i i i look at ryukin uh see and i i i look away for a moment look at ryukin talking to me look up and see olo smash it and i just go and i sling the arrow and i just just like down the tree you made me miss my shot. You are the slowest rogue I have ever met. I look, I, I look, and I, look I past know Olo. You are slower <laughs> than Olo. I lean over and I go, Olo's a rogue? Sometimes he steals things and he puts it in his shell. Oh, he needs to pay his fucking dues. That's why he doesn't want you to put stuff in his shell. Then you okay. find his stuff in his shell that he sold. All right, as this is going on, um, out in the main port of the forest, you are going to see, poofing into existence, a flaming mass of sparkly something, and it is going to take a swing at, or a bite at Sandra. I'm going to use a reaction first, because it starts its turn 10 feet away from me to Indeed uh, it does. Hit, hit it with a halo of spores. Okay. Uh, four, what's... Points of, four points of damage. Nothing okay. major. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, did you say a halo of spores? Halo of spores. Okay, we're all just cool with that. All right. it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Tinkerbell like, spreading uh, like fairy dust. That's all. You literally look like walking through an old attic no matter where you go. <laughs> Sandra, does a 24 hit you? Yes, it does. Uh, that is eight points of piercing damage, and please make a DC 11 constitution saving throw. I rolled a natural 20. Okay, uh, so you, you save, but you still take the damage. Or the, the piercing damage, you don't take the other damage. Uh, you said it was eight? Eight points of piercing. All right. All right. Um, then the spider is going to stay there. Um, and... The babies, two of them are going to pop into existence and take swings at Eros. One is going to pop into existence and take swings at Valena. They followed me down the tree. Oh, oh no, these are, yes, they the two followed you down the tree and then the one like was in the other tree closer to Valena. So one just, I see it scritching like <laughs> down towards Valena. I'm like, wow, that thing looks like it's going to and then it's on me. Bova and I need to have words because his dice do not roll well for me. Um, does Thank you, a... Bova. <laughs> Seriously. Does a 10 hit Eros? Uh, do, do you want to take advantage? Because I was not paying attention. <laughs> no, Talk about no. guild dues here. No, yeah, uh, it so, does not uh, hit. With, a, with yeah. a 13, I just, I feel something like a mosquito. I'm like, I can stop it. Whatever there, Ryuka, does he see me swat away this big spider that's trying to eat me right now? I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I'm standing there well, laughing at you. I mean, there. Is it is it like put, a, a uh, branch? What I can't see it. What is it? Can, like, what is it? It's a. It's a. Um, 
10 legs? What would that be? Four legs, a dog? For eight legs. Oh! <laughs> All right. Um, so there are now three spiders around you guys. Um, none of them have managed to hit at all, but, uh, Valena, if you look at your right shoulder, there is a spider right there. Oh, shit. All right. I am appropriate going... response. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Huh. Holy Spiders. shit. <laughs> Holy shit, a spider. Okay. Uh, I want to cast a hex on it. Okay. You can do so. All right, um, and and then Eldritch Blast. Go ahead, blast it. Roll that attack. An 18. That will hit. Uh, I rolled an 8. Is that with your hex damage as well? No. Um, Hex damage, hex damage, hex damage, hex Give me a damage. Second here. <laughs> Jeez. I'm I'm this is this is how people treat me. I'm He's... cheering you on to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> how <laughs> dare you? Doesn't even sound like you're my, cheering me on. My kids are gonna be like, Dad, leave the soccer game. We don't watch you here. <laughs> I told you that you talk too much for our own. Olo's happy you called him a friend. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> children would do that anyway. <laughs> That's true. 10 points of damage total. Okay, um, that spider is still there. It is twitching. Um, it's got some like purple icor dripping out of it, but yeah. it's not, not quite dead yet. Um, Sandra, there is a fiery mass of something in front of you. What would you like to do? Fire bit me. I'm gonna... <laughs> I did that. that really hurt fire <laughs> and it's fire. still hurting it hurts right now I, i'm gonna i'm gonna um take uh take my sword i'm gonna stab it rather than swing at it i'm gonna stab it all right go ahead and roll your attack Randy, great job by the way that was <laughs> That's a 19 plus five, so a that 24. That will 100% hit. How much damage are we looking at? <clears throat> Eight. Okay. Um, you can see that the sword went into the spider. There's a little bit of, or well, the flaming mass of something. You don't know what it is yet. Um, and there is like some purple blood maybe dripping out um but it's it's still moving and it's mad now oh i'm mad too because the fire bit me so i'm gonna <laughs> rage go ahead and um i'm going to uh stab it again all right trying for the purple dots that i see okay I remember my first time on fucking mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> she Fire did just <laughs> You're muted. I rolled, I rolled a two. Oh boy. That rage, damage, rage, damage, <laughs> rage, damage. So I don't think I don't no, think it hits on that. It's it's my first time playing a barbarian, so I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure on how rage. Did you hit? She rolled a two. Plus, which, what's your modifier? Well, yeah, what's your modifier? Uh, it's highly unlikely unless she gets Prob a. Probably no. not. She probably no, uh, didn't. Most she can have it. Most she could have is a nine. Yeah, so she's super mad, and the spider is super mad, and it's, like, sparking right now, but that's all that's happening. Um, Dwarik, there is a flaming mass of something in front of you. It, uh, it's sparking at Sandra, and there's some purple goo coming out of it. What do you do? Fire? <laughs> I know fire more than you. On Mordain, I'm going to 
destroy you. And he goes and just smashes with his hammer. That's uh, 19. That will hit. For 12. Okay. Um, so you slam your hammer down. Um, it definitely gets purchased into this flaming mass of something. Um, but it does not break through the skin and it doesn't do anything other than just cause some pain. So uh, you have definitely injured it. You can tell, but still standing. Anything else on your turn? Come at me, flame beast. I will get you. And that's it. Good, good. Olo, what would you like to do? Uh, Olo's gonna just come around over here. Uh, not Maybe accidentally step in further on the baby corpses. Um, and then he's going to use his wild shape function, but instead of turning into an animal, he's going to use symbiotic entity. So... Uh, the spores on Olo awaken, and it infuses me with plus 12 temporary hit points. Uh, I can roll double damage uh, on the dice for my circle of spores, uh, and I deal 1d6 additional poison damage when I hit with my melee. So, like, Olo really just, like, sh like brightens up. Like, the, s the fungi gets larger. He looks a little more menacing. No, he the... doesn't. He looks like a fun guy. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. <laughs> um, hold on a second here can we just all pause for a second that i just got the condescending laugh about a pun from no, I'm, uh, from house, house. <laughs> i'm just, I'm, just I, I'm mad because that's my thing and i didn't think of it that is why you got the condescending laugh because that's my thing and i didn't get there mandy what a drop what a drop <laughs> nice job I'm channeling Boba right now. Continue. I I apologize. No, no that's my turn. <laughs> no, but you're not even you can't, you're you're not say gonna... that. you can't say that on camera. <laughs> Turns my out turn. the house doesn't always win. <laughs> I don't like um... this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, welcome to the rest of the Discord house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ryukin, there are baby spiders. And just, you, you see just may a big or glare. may not see them. <laughs> There's a big flash from Olo as he spores out, and it just kind of glows me and the spider about to sink into my neck. What? What is it? <laughs> I'm just going to stand and go, holy shit! Oh, what? <laughs> I'm going to stab the spider next. No, no, please! Next. <laughs> uh, it's a 16. That will hit. Ow, what? The a bonus double attack with the katanas, and that's a nine. And that's a nine total. <laughs> For damage? For damage. Okay. Um, so that he gets he gets advantage because he's within five feet of someone who's in, so that means he gets assassinate damage, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yep. I get another He said it was nine total, right? Uh, was... without the, without the additional two D six also. Okay, well, go ahead and add your 2d6 and kill the mother. Uh, that's or five. the baby. Yeah. How does it die? Um, I take my katanas, and I kind of just quickly stab each one of his eyes. And I'm not even breaking eye contact with arrows. Just showing, showing him, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, anything else on your turn, Ryukin? Nope, that's it. Then... It is now Bellinor's turn, even though I'm a little confused because the singing happened from Ryukin, and I just I'm not really quite sure what's going on. But anyway, Bellinor, there is a flaming mass of something. It looks hurt. Right. It's been smashed by a hammer. It's been stabbed with a sword. There's sparks and blood. It looks purple. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my rapier, and at first I turn around to go help them, but then I remember those are the three that tried to steal my loot, so I'm gonna be like. <laughs> And they're they're fine. And then run up and attack this one. All right. So 
a 12 to hit. That will not hit. Okay, and that's it. All right. Eros, um, Ryukin just almost stabbed you with a sword. He definitely killed something instead of you. What do you do now? I I do the thing that you that you see the crime scene detectives do to determine if it's blood, and I go over my shoulder without breaking eye contact. <laughs> is is that blood? Did you kill a dog right behind me? <laughs> I I don't know what I killed. Okay, we can get through this together. It's fine. It's fine. And I I I. I, I just kind of like I, I let it fall down the, the, the I let it fall down the tree a little bit. I lean up against it like I'm hiding a cigarette from a teacher, and I look past him to try to figure out what's going on past him. Perception. All right. Uh, for seventeen. Um. Okay. So you can see in the trees that there is a spider here. Okay. There is a spider here. There's a spider to my left and to my right. And there is and a big butt spider out this way. Okay. Um, the one that is uh, by Valena, um, I, I loose an arrow right over uh, Ryukin's shoulder. Just like, he doesn't like, just doesn't even pull up just over, over the top of him. Um, and, uh, okay. ooh, ooh, give it to me. Give it to me, DM. Uh, uh, yeah, I give it to you. That ah. is a nat 20. Thank you. Oh, and actually, so that's ro rogue sneak attack damage as well, is it not? Indeed it is. Um, Indeed so it is. I would assume that you're going to kill it, but feel free to roll the damage so we can Don't see how this. well you kill me. it. Don't take this from me. Is it 2d6 at this level? Yeah. Uh, and then you're level three, yeah. It should and be. So roll, so all damage or all damage dice rolled. I'm going to take all of this. Please and thank you. And move you, some stuff yes, out of the please. way. Move this. Um, I don't know. Just fucking round it up. Anyway, um, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so as, as go ahead, please. Sorry. It's. I was just gonna say it's real dead. You can describe how it's real dead. Great. As I as I loose this thing and I see like uh, next to Valena, um, I go sorry. I look at right and I go see what happens when you just don't say duck or anything like that. You know, OSHA visited last week and we were like, no, we've got this shit under control. And now here we are just throwing fucking swords and arrows over one another. Anyway, we still have more spiders. Can we go, please? And I, I, I just kind of fucking limbo my way under him um, and I use my bonus action to dash towards the remainder of the people. Um, we killed the two spiders there, right? There's one more. One more. So are it's you actually dashing away? It's gonna, it's gonna. Too late, to... already committed. Too late, right. already committed. I was like, where you can, it could be. That was the only one that we had to worry about. You could have moved and I leave. I'm like, ah! I'm going, I like, I'm this close to going downstairs and getting my own damn dice because does an 11 hit? No, it doesn't. Why would an 11 hit? Um, yeah, <laughs> so you get away. Go ahead. Run where you want to run, friend. <laughs> a piece of his clothing that his ass sheet just hangs out now. No, no. Damn it. Because it is. <laughs> it was an eleven. It wasn't even like kind of. Did you just take? Did you just take an opportunity attack at me to cut my pocket? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so that's arrows, and now. Um, our friend, the Sparking Flame Spider, also known as Sparkle Fluffy Nose, is going to go ahead and bite at Sandra because holy Sandra, why'd you do that? Halo of Spores reaction first. Halo of Spores reaction first. It's four. Uh, oh no, it's no, double, no, it's, isn't it's, it? It's 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 two d four. Two d four. All right, you roll. That's. Uh... 12 points of damage. Oh, boy. Wait, no, okay. sorry. No, I don't double what I rolled. Sorry. It's six points of damage. My bad. Six points of damages. Okay. Getting there. Getting there, friends and family. Um, all right. So, Sandra, does a 19 hit you? Yes. Yes, it does. And... That will be four points of piercing damage, and please make a constitution saving throw.
Uh, constitution, I rolled a 15 plus 3. You succeed your constitution saving throw again. You said it was uh, 4 points? 4 points of piercing. All right, I'm angry. You are angry indeed. And it is now the turn of the baby spiders. So the baby spider that is right next to Valena is going to attempt to hit it. her. Does a 16 hit you, Valena? Yes. Go ahead and take two points of piercing damage and roll a constitution saving throw. 16. Uh, You have saved your constitution saving throw. And then one baby spider comes out of this tree and is going to take a big old bite at the Bellinor. Bellinor, does an 18 hit you? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Go ahead and take five points of piercing damage and make a constitution saving throw. That's a A. That's a net 20. All right. You save. Can you people stop saving, please? <laughs> no. Just maybe. <laughs> Just maybe stop saving. No. All right. I- Okay, I guess if I guess if we're not gonna stop saving, then whatever. We're gonna just go to the most expensive store. Is gonna go buy our tableware at Kohl's. <laughs> um, Sandra, this insult actually- <laughs> brought to you by Kohl's. That's right, <laughs> Kohl's. When you want to think of the worst thing that you can think of, that's Kohl's. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, I accidentally skipped you on initiative, but it is your turn now. All oh, right, shoot. So- Oh, too late. Can't retcon it. What? DM makes play mistakes too. Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. What was? Oh what was no, happening? no. It. She's already lost her turn. So it, you're you're good. There's a sparkly, flaming something there. All right, and I'm angry, and I am going to uh, recklessly attack it. Um. Go ahead and make that attack roll, my friend. That's a a four. A four does not hit, my friend. I'm I'm a little bit too angry. (laughs) Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. (laughs) I'm too angry, so I'm missing. I don't think I even get any of the fiery fluff in, in the point of the blade. No, um, you're swinging very wildly that you're like making Dwarik and Bellinor have to duck and they, they're, they're getting a little nervous here. <laughs> um, and Ooh. with that, is there anything else on your turn that you would like to do, Sandra? Um, I no, believe no, because I missed my first attack, I don't get a second attack. I've uh, never do you played get two a attacks? Do you, do you get two attacks per action? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought it was because of rage. I don't know. I know that you get advantage on athletics checks when you are raging. Uh, but as for uh, do you get more attacks? I don't believe so. I think it's just the bonus damage. I don't believe so. Um, then in that case, I'm, I'm done. I don't all right. get anything else. Dwarik, what would you like to do on your turn? All right. It's done, beast. He drops his warhammer. He's just dropping his warhammer. Okay. He's going to hold out his hand and cast uh, Guiding Bolt. Okay. See if you're going to make this even uh, more sparkly. 24. That will hit. How much damage? It's 4d6. Yep. So we are like fairy fire away from having a rave in this fucking clearing. It's like Burning Man. <laughs> uh. I do have 35. 11. 11 points of damage. Okay. Yeah. So, and uh, what does your guiding <sighs> bolt look like when it hits? How how does the guiding bolt um, resolve? It's going to come like right, shape right above my head and just go down. And I'm just going to guide it with my hand right to the creature. Perfect. Beautiful. Radiant. 
All right, so we've got some nice radiant damage yeah. in on the beautiful little spider. Uh, Dwarik, is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? That's it. All right. Uh, we are now at Olo's turn, and um, next attack on this will have advantage. Yes. Yep. Olo's just going to uh, quarter, uh, quarter staff smack the flaming spider. Um, are you booping him on his fluffy nose? Yep. But like a mean boop. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. That's uh need to be using some newspaper. Tw- 22 to hit. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> How much damage? Just checking, double checking the. Okay, so it's one bashing damage. Okay. And then four poison damage. Okie dokie. You have bashed it and you have poisoned it. And it's twitching a little bit. Um, the f- flame is kind of receding a little bit like it's not sparking as much and everybody else can kind of start to make out that this is the shape of a spider um but it is still alive are any of my allies in the vicinity looking particularly hurt uh not with the way this dm's rolling (laughs) bellinor anybody (laughs) feeling particularly hurt (laughs) yes i uh i have bites obviously on my legs and they're bleeding but like anyone under half damage i am at half damage i don't know if... would olo be able to see you that, that's, i don't know question. if i no, unfortunately i don't think i'd be paying attention to like what's going on back there uh just oh. because i oh i'm, I'm looking <laughs> forward great I'm looking forward right. die. it's okay always I'm forward never forward. backwards all right. Anything There's, else on your turn? Yeah, I would use a bonus action healing word on Sandra. Okie dokie. Go ahead and cast that healing word. And that's. And then it is Ryukin's turn. Well, since I notice everybody in the area, and I feel like I've bonded with Valina as we were trying to break into Bellinor's loot, um, I'm gonna hop up on this box and try to help her with the spider over here. Okie dokie. Go ahead and roll your attack. I rolled a not 20. Uh, that will hit, and you catch will... Catchphrase, catchphrase. Completely just destroy it. Because <laughs> assassin damage, too, is just fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, I chop on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and just take his face clean off. You have succeeded in taking that spider's face clean off (laughs) and it is d-e-d dead in front of valena the warlock (laughs) she just like (laughs) (laughs) oh my all right anything else on your turn ryukin no we are now that's plenty belinor all right. After getting a bit by this spider, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to it and viciously mock it and say, "Buddy, I I've taken shits that hurt worse than that." All right. Guess... What was the save for that again? Uh, twelve wisdom. Oh, these are not wise boys, and these dice suck. <laughs> uh, it's gonna fail. So go ahead and tell me how you're gonna kill it. Hey. It um, it it feels v- very embarrassed and emasculated, and it it just um seppukus itself. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, that happens. Yep, <laughs> it dies uh, with a broken heart. <laughs> Eros, uh, what are what would you like to do now? There are no little spiders around. There is just a big flaming mass of what you definitely know is a spider, and everybody else is kind of thinking it might be a spider, but they don't know. You're not killing the fucking thing that's obviously a spider? I loose an arrow. 
Go ahead and roll your attack. Fucking, I'm throwing fire tonight. 16 in modifiers. Uh, that um, will definitely hit. I just rolled like five dice, so. <laughs> uh, one of the one of them's a what one of them's a six and another's a seven. All right. So that is 13. Do you want me or, or, oh so hold on, this thing's a big motherfucker? Got it. All right. So that is um eleven, <laughs> uh twelve, fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen total damage? Fifteen total damage. All right. Um, so your arrow lodges itself in one of the eyes, and this spider is twitching and the fires like the the sparking flame on it is super dim now but I look back towards my companions like stab here oh oh <laughs> um and then i disengage and then <laughs> i mean you're not very close to it anyway so it's not going to go towards you um it is going to take a swing or a, a bite reaction halo of spores oh mother trucker halo of spores go ahead roll your halo of spores that's seven points of damage oh why did it have to be a seven sorry i, I actually had advantage against her this time and i could have <laughs> maybe hit her <laughs> All right, so this halo of spores descends on this spider, and it's twitching, and it's you just see it start to do this, and slower, and slower, and slower, and the fire goes out, and it whines, and it is dead. You have succeeded in killing the wizard's pet, and you see on the corpse a collar with a tag that says, Sparkle Fluffy Nose. <sighs> Ooh. Sparkle Fluffy Nose. Who names a spider Sparkle Fluffy Nose? Guys, I don't know. Yelling head head at a fire. I don't know, but that was the worst. Guys, I cut hide, off hide its head because I'm still angry. It bit me. Okay. Um, in cutting off its head, the collar comes with it, and the collar is made of pure gold. Oh, that's bleak. What's a pompous ass? <coughs> Do you want me to hold that for you guys? Why are you guys standing so close to one another? Oh, I, was I, I, I drop my rage and 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 walk away from it. I go I go to check on the puppies. Oh, um, going in there and he's going to non-ritually just straight up cast speak with animals. Okay. Uh, there is a golden retriever and a husky that is cowering inside of the big cage. There are two little kitties in the small cage. They don't really care. They're cats. Um, and there is a chihuahua that is running around barking at every single spider corpse. Oh, it's okay now. Uh, we're, we're here to bring you home. <laughs> oh, what? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> That's what, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, um, so the husky and the golden retriever um, walk out of the cage towards you. Uh, or did you say it was okay now? Yeah. Oh, is that the golden? I love him. <laughs> that is that is the golden. Yeah, it's, it's just fine. We can oh. bring you home. Okay. I stick um, my hand out for one of the puppies to sniff my hand because I want to pet a puppy now. All right. So the chihuahua is going to run up to you and it's going to bite you and then it's going to <laughs> lick you. Uh, but it's not like trying to hurt you. So it's not going to have you roll any damage. Um, or I'm not going to roll any damage for you. So then after the chihuahua runs up and bites you, the chihuahua is going to run over to the other two dogs and go, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? I totally killed all of those spiders. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? You were very brave. Thank you. Um, do you know where the gorillas are? They have food. They have bananas. Oh, and they have they have jerky. Oh, food. Gorillas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, you can take us to. I look over to Sandra. The gorillas. Uh. Uh, I, I I can't take you to them. I don't know where they live, but I might be able to smell the jerky. Do you smell the jerky? And the 
husky is going to oh jerky yes this way and start walking away from the camp and i start following um, are you going to tell Where everybody Where the fuck else? is he going? <laughs> what's uh, happening? No, anybody? No, he what is just going on? And then just walks away. There's been some barks and some a slight howl and some yips. This, and oh, oh, oh. They said is so, now leaving. Yeah. They said He's something lost about, his mind, clearly. They said yeah. something about jerky and gorillas. Gorillas? You got that out of Barbara yeah. Mark? Wait, wait, the yeah. kitties are in the cage still. They are pets. I'm going to go oh. over and open up the, the cat's uh, cage. You're going to open the cat. Be- before we do that, I have like six holes in my body from the spiders here. Can someone help me? Do you Ladies. want seven? <laughs> Ladies, I can come help you. Oh, God. Ladies. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> All right, so whatever needs to be resolved before you guys follow the husky towards the jerky, go ahead and, and cast those spells and have those conversations. Oh, I, I just opened up the cage. Kitties, okay. you can come uh, out now. They're sleeping. <laughs> that sounds like cats. <laughs> oh, no. Can someone hear uh, me? Yes, come here, Valena. <laughs> Thank you so much. I said, we have a cleric. <laughs> yes. Come here. Right, I'm going to so... whisper some prayers, a uh, prayer to Shalandra to give you the light that you need to continue. And you get from uh, Cure Wounds five health. Oh, thank you. That feels so much better, Doric. Guys, we we should we should probably hide this this spider. Well, the fluffy knows before maybe the wizard finds it. Or I we walk find up the to I um, walk up to the spider's head and I take the gold collar. Well, those four right. should eat it. Like they're they, I mean they're very invasive. I mean it'll um, be gone in a couple couple uh, couple hours. You can kind of see that the body of the spider is starting to deteriorate. The The spores are very corrosive and you can just, all you really see is just like a pile of purple goo. The and it just sounds stayed. like a bowl of Rice Krispie treats <laughs> or, or Rice Krispie. Just Stop crackling and popping. Indeed. Yes, nice, nice job, Olo. I'm still so a little I... upset that you, you put this black stuff all over me, but it, good job. <laughs> So All we right. look like right. Dick Van Dyke from Mary Dark. Poppins. We're just covered in soot. <laughs> Spores. <Gross. laughs> Work, you should get that collar. Are we sure these are spores? No, I have the collar. No, I think Dwarik should deserve it. He's the most deserving. It bit Dwarik. me most. <laughs> he heard it most. Mm. You did miss a lot. You 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 got her in a battle of words. That's not fair. <laughs> it bit me most. I would really she like you to. Me. I would really like to see you try to get it from Sandra. I think Sandra should do the honorable thing. I've never heard you I use the word the honor before. Half. Not even once. I Literally, break the collar in half. I want and you I give trip him a the half once. that has the name tag on it. <laughs> one pieces. Only one pieces. And that's the only time that I saw. All right. Work here. And I give him oh. the, the half of the collar that has the name tag on it. Uh fluffy nose spider. I'm gonna whisper to Doric. Well, that's good enough for now. You can always take the other half later when she's not listening or looking. Uh. Uh, I'm just gonna shrug that off. She's like, did she just what? Did, 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 did. Don't you want gold? Well, I do like gold. What directions are the dogs going? They are going east. I was just just following the dogs. I'll All right, follow Olo. So you're following the dogs. It hasn't really been that long since you guys left. It's still like mid afternoon. It's a very nice day. 
Um, you're jaunting through the woods. There's birds tweeting and chirping and singing their merry little songs. Um, if you look closely, you might be able to see a rabbit or two or 27 if you're looking really closely because they have a lot of babies. Um, and finally, you come upon a clearing. And within this clearing, there is a very large almost warehouse looking building it's very out of place in this area there is a door in the middle there's a couple windows the dogs run right up to it and start sniffing at the door what is that doing here Getting sniffed mostly. Yep. That's its purpose. You got it. I I pull out thieves tools. Just go go gadget them. Uh, okay. <laughs> I look you at I look your... at Rayukin and I go, um I, I, I hand him five gold. I say it was I didn't expect you to be right about the spiders, but hey, on the long shot, and I drop a fucking coin to him. Good call. And uh, best two out of three. Yeah. So I go waltz over to the door with the intention of picking it. As as uh, Eros walks by, uh, Olo places a hand on him and casts resistance. Uh, oh, you, oh, what the fuck? Uh, just in case... Uh, yeah, it explodes like that one time a couple weeks ago. Oh my god! Like I, I can't believe. And thank you very much for like. I, I look back at Torque. I go, thank you for the eyebrows back with the restoration spell. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really bad. But to be fair, it was not my fault. Um, Ryukin basically was like, Just not. and I was like, huh! and and then it. Okay, and I, I'm I'm talking to him as I'm doing this. I'm like, it really wasn't Just my fault. Knock. Is there, is the windows, are they high? Knock the, po- the, knock the poor person's lock pick? No. Uh, the windows are high up. They can are I high get, up. Can I ask Sandra for a boost? It, I mean, you sure, sure you can. Sandra, can I get up, up? Um, sh- sure. I will uh, put my knee out so that he can stand on it. You All want right. a boost, Eros? Um, go ahead and... No, that's fine. Eros, roll me uh, your thieves' tools check. Ryuk can roll me acrobatics to see how well you mount Sandra's knee and climb up to... Like, why do I... Phrasing? I mean to phrase it that way. <laughs> Just roll me your acrobatics check and give me your thieves' tool check. 25. All right, you have mounted that knee so well that you are way up in the air and you can look through the window. Hey, man, whatever gets you off. Uh, <laughs> God, I wish that knee was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this mask is getting hot. Mm. And uh, and Eros, what was your thieves' tools check? Uh, well, I don't even want to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> the great the great dice gave me another nat twenty. Um, okay. So yeah, you uh, you get right up to that door and it is unlocked. Um, do you open it immediately or do you wait to see what Ryukin is doing up in the air? And he's not grinding a knee right now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he may be. You can ask him. <laughs> okay, let's not be f- just... Big what game, are, what game are we on? Mandy, it's your fault. You're what's wrong. <laughs> it's not my fault. Fucking not- everything's... Everything's about rubbing mounds on stuff. Um, I just, um, all right, that's it. Uh, yeah, I, I totally just fucking opened the door. No, fucking, all you right. think I'm gonna wait for Ryukin to get in there first? Yeah, you got him. Okay, uh, you open the door and um, or, do you just walk right in? I open the door when you listen. I don't know where I am. I open the door and observe. I don't just hunt, I don't just, honey, I, I'm home this thing. All right, so, uh, Eros and Ryukin, because you are both currently gazing into this here uh, room. You see a room that is full of gorillas. It looks like a like cafeteria type setup, almost like I, a gorilla restaurant. I'm 
There is a gorilla right in front of you, actually, Eros. It looks like he was about to like go out to the bathroom or something. Um, uh, party, party of party of seven, please. Uh, he, oh, 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 what? Wait. I, he talks. What? Why? Santa, your family is here. Well, we are not family of Sandra. We, we are. How do you? How do you are, know? Have you even seen Sandra? No, well, I do not have anybody named Sandra in my family. There is Jeffrey and um, I know Jeff. Figadoro, oh. and um, there's Olo, but we haven't seen Olo in a very long time. And oh, it's not this one. Like, like Olo right one. there. Oh, he's standing right there. Oh. Olo! Oh. I Olo! And the gorilla runs and hugs Olo. Do, do I? Oh. Do, do I know you? It's 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 me. It's your brother. That, that doesn't do. No, you're not. Yeah, yes, I am. We came from the same. We we came from the same clutch of eggs. We hatched next to each other. I see the resemblance. It's uncanny. I don't know much, but gorillas don't come out of eggs. Oh, it's a lot I, hairier than I. Where's your shell? Oh, uh, the the wizard. Recession. No. What? The wizard. What about the wizard? The wizard thought it would be hilarious to capture us and turn us all into gorillas and make us live and work inside of this cafeteria. You would come and drop in and make us cook him <coughs> tasty dishes. Well, that's bananas. Oh, we have lots of bananas here. Would you like one? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I mean, you're just gonna offer. You're you're just offering. The, well, the let's shoot fish in a barrel. That's, I guess monkeys in a barrel. Well, we are great apes. Actually, we are not monkeys, but we are not even great apes. We are turtles, no, and we are all. The the wizard thought it would be hilarious, and I am still not laughing at the joke. That's that jerk. Gorillas. Can I come in, please? Can I come uh, no. in? Oh, oh, so, yes, so, yes. Please, please come in. Sandra, Have a seat. please, please don't murder my family. I, I want to wrestle is... one. Fight them. I don't, oh, don't want to murder them. You just went from no, you're not. Where's your home? To now that you're family. Oh, yeah, I'm very you... trust. I mean, you know can me. We get very a, tr- can we get a sidebar? Excuse me, monk. Um, uh, great ape. No, not great gorilla. What was your name? Uh, I forgot to remember what my name was. I have not that's, changed that's, it I, I, since I, the I, last time. My name is Alo. Okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that is real delicious. original with that. Where's that's a, how where, you can tell. Where's uh, where's our father, Ilo? Oh, Ilo is uh, he's he's making the beer. Where's oh. Shilo, the mother? Shilo, she. Shilo passed. I'm very sorry oh, to have to tell you this. The wizard, he, Mama, Mama, you're la- Mama you're, is dead. You're laughing real Mama. hard at this mom dying right now. Stop it! Very tactless. Stop. I, uh, is Ryukin still sitting on my knee? Is this <laughs> it's a very good knee? A very good knee. <laughs> I, I think I live here. Yes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Just <laughs> <laughs> took a turn. Oh boy. Uh, yep, yep. So um, there is a room full of gorillas. Um, Shilo has met an untimely demise by the wizard. Dark. Um, Alo is offering you bananas, and Ilo is making beer. Uh. Um. Hello, uh, uh, my friend Sandra really wanted to wrestle a gorilla. Would you mind wrestling Sandra? Uh, uh, she's a little preoccupied with Ryukin right now, but uh, maybe in like a couple minutes when he finishes. It has been a long time since I have wrestled a Goliath. I would like to, yes. When was the last time? Oh, it Yay! was about 300 years ago. And it was... Years. Yeah, we're, we're old. Yes, quite wow. old. I'm like 275. I don't even know wow. if you look good for your age. You don't look good day over 250. It's the spores. Very like herbal remedy. Gonna have mm-hmm. to take your word on it. Yeah. We can no longer do the spores as we are gorillas. The The wizard has polymorphed us all. 
and he has a special polymorph that makes it so that we cannot turn back. Well, I'm starting oh. to not really like this guy. What about the flowers? I think they have to turn into a potion. Do you know how to turn, like, make flowers? Listen, potion? Sandra, listen, we understand that you're not from around here. You might be the dumbest one in the party. It has nothing to do with the flowers. You can't make potions out of flowers. That's just silly. It would have nothing to do with it at all. And I need, I expect you to just keep it locked up while we sort this out. Like, let the smart people do what the smart people do. I'm going to, I'm get going to smack him across right the head here. if I can. <laughs> Yeah, just, just, I, I don't, I, it's, it's unimpeded. She just whacks the shit out of me. Okay, <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll roll that damage. <laughs> Jump off of me. Oh, you're right. Say, Olo, do you, um, <laughs> speaking of spores, do you have any, do you have any shrooms that are, that have used for, say, a more Party. recreational purposes? Yeah, this one right here. Want it? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah there I'll, you go. I'll take some of that. You can just take it. Thanks, thanks. That's uh, two damage. All right, two damage to arrows. Two bashing damage. <laughs> Does your face hurt? That was oh, awesome. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Olo. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we have Olo, who has promised to wrestle Sandra. Um, Eros is calling Sandra dumb and saying that flowers have nothing to do with anything. Ryukin has hopped off of Sandra's knee and Olo is giving drugs to Bellinor. What would you guys like to do now? Sandra, you want me to hold your stuff for you while you uh, wrestle that gorilla in there? No. Uh, I just want to kind of circle up and watch the wrestling. Right. Or does anybody want to place bets? Ryukin, I think you need to go to the bar and like cool down a little bit. Okay. I, I want to that... drink too first. Uh, all right. Okay. So, uh, so <laughs> from the back room, um, a very imposing silverback gorilla walks out. Um, I'm going to stick a marker on him. And he is um, holding a large mug of ale and he walks up to Alo. I have made a new brew, Alo. Would you test it, please? This seems suspicious. Yeah. Hold or on, everyone. A, or he had a stroke at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Hold oh, on. Are you Olo, are you even sure these people are your family? Maybe you should ask them something like only they'd know about you. Yeah, like and and don't and don't add what are the last two letters of most of our names to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try this, guys. Just wait. And I want to cast detect magic. All right, you cast detect magic, and every single one of these gorillas in here lights up like the Fourth of July for you. I want to cast um. Is it transmutation? Poison. Is it transmutation? Yes, it is transmutation. Um, you cast detect poison, and um, you can see like a little bit of like all over Olo. There's spores, and like he's, he's covered <laughs> in dust. It's um, inside of his shell, like if you can see the pollen, there's a whole bunch on those flowers in there. Um, don't like there there's those flowers are starting to dry up too right now. Like they're not soaking wet anymore. So don't so breathe. I might them just in. die. I might just die with a million flowers. <laughs> <laughs> there goes all you'll have the flowers for your funeral. Right side. All right, so uh, all of the gorillas have lit up like the 4th of July. There is poison all over Olo and inside of Olo's shell um, from the, the, the pollen of the flowers, and nothing else in here is poisonous. Yeah. What all about good. the rest of the room? Is there anything else that's lit up like magic? No. It's all food and tables. and Well, actually, the lock on the back door. Are we are we sitting at like long like um like you know in uh, Winterfell? As of right now, you are benches? still in the entryway. Yeah. 
Well, that's See, weird. Yeah. They wouldn't just invite us in and we could yada, yada, yada as we're talking. You these, can these... go wherever you want to go. You haven't moved well, I'm not going to impede on these people's <laughs> house. Yeah, just come in. It's my house too now. What? <laughs> we're family. What is this, Olive Garden? Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> All right. Yeah, I go what? <laughs> Come sit by me. Okay. All right. So you guys all go and, and grab some seats. You, uh, Ilo is bringing beer to people. Um, it is very delicious and hopsy and has slight uh, floral notes. Mm, yes, banana pale ale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a banana bread monkeys. beer. <laughs> In IPLA. Hey! <laughs> oh, an 8PA. <sighs> um, just so you know as well, these tables, even though they look like they're wooden in the Rule 20, they're all made of gold. Everything here is gold because gold is best. Gonna... I can't believe this is the first that I'm noticing that everything's made of gold. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. I'm gonna pull wow. Domina. It's just tell, like we we steal we steal yes, all of it. Hey, um, steal boys. Right. Is, is this gold real? I'm right here. Why <laughs> would you steal our tables? Yeah, you're just gonna try and put it in my shell. It won't fit. Everything else fits. Hey, um, Ilo, thank you very much for having us here for this uh, excellent um, monkey brewed beer. I'm always here to support good monkey brewed local brews. But how far to the wizard's house? Have you seen him lately? Is he losing it? Is he still alive? That is so many questions. Um, I have not vote. seen the wizard lately. Hasn't come to lunch. Um, when we were migrating here, we passed by a large castle on the mountain. Mm -hmm. I think the wizard might live there, but I do not know. He came to us when we were by the pond. Oh yeah, Olo, you two are definitely related. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. What is behind that back Dork. door? Oh, that is our pond. You have a pond in the in the back of the room, or is it outside? Well, n no, the the pond is outside. Why would you put a pond inside? Um, have you ever? Well, been I to guess a you restaurant? could put a. <laughs> Chinese, you say? <coughs> what is Chinese? Food? Okay, someone that... live with Konnichiwa tonight. So let's <laughs> let's draw the line here. I do not know what you speak of. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Who, who invites me to games? I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to see some wrestling. All I right. finished the beer that was given to me. Yeah, I'm going to look over and whisper to uh, Bellinor. I'm like, that door is glowing. Why would they have a magic on a door behind a pond? I don't get it. I'm right here. I can hear you. Just ask him the question. We just did the buffet line. We're sitting down here. Just ask the question, man. Well, I noticed there's a lot of uh, magic coming from the door. Why? Is there a, a seal to the door? Can you? The not wizard likes to teleport, and he needs anchors, I think. So when he would come to teleport and get his food, he would always teleport to that door. Interest. That door. Yes, that, that is the door we are talking yeah. about. He comes, he comes, and he goes from that same one. Well, sometimes he leaves the front door and goes and walks. To so sometimes visit. he does it for the steps. Other times he just 
Well, it depends on whether he's trying to get somewhere fast or not, I think. I do not know the mind of the wizard. I have not had a conversation with him. He came to us and said, you are turtles and I do not like turtles. I would like you to be gorillas. And then he cast a spell and here we are. You seem you, very, very accustomed to it. Just did you? Did you tell him we weren't turtles that were turtles? Uh, oh, I tried, but I only got we aren't out before the spell. I, I can't imagine how that happened, Valena. What is that? Do, do, can you can you come with me over here? I kind of like I I go and kind of reach for her by the wrist, and and if uh just snatched away, I, I kind of pull, pull her. I get like, like drag by him. He's grabbing my arm. Um, I, I walk over to the, the the little portal door. Yeah, what uh, what's going on with this portal door? What is going on with this portal door? I was yeah. going to ask you. Um, <sighs> oh my god, portal door! <gasps> yes, portal door. Oh my god! And their pond is behind it. How perfect is that? I know. Look, this is a great location. It really is. It really I mean, is. Smart gorillas thing. or not, like you, okay, you got anyway. business. Oh, yeah. Can you? Can you? Can you pick that lock? Can I? Pick, is there a lock to pick, Mandy? Uh, she said there was a lock on it that was yes, glowing. Yes, there. The the keyhole for the lock is glowing. You stick your thieves' tools in, and they are not catching on any tumblers whatsoever. It's fine. It, it's you because the door money. is not okay. yeah, good. locked. No. <laughs> the, 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 you can very clearly tell the door is not locked at all. <laughs> I I slightly ajar the door. I ask Valena as I'm doing it. Is this safe? <laughs> yeah, it's totally safe. You go first. Yeah. I'm going to go up behind him and just shove him through i thought you were gonna spook me because i had already said that you did that at another one which spooks me what? Spies, but the wrestling um yeah, you guys do your wrestling it'll be great <laughs> let them do their things they'll be back because they'll need our help go ahead and wrestle they'll be back or dead. They always come back. Alo's going to walk up to Sandra. Are you ready now? Yes. And he gets into a um, wrestling stance. Uh, Ryukin, Eros, and Valena, what terrible decisions are you about to make right now? That one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I push Eros into Dorn. Oh, like into the, the door, the, the door that's like into the door. a little bit cracked. Like, so you're going to push him into the door to close the door again? <laughs> push him through the oh. Oh. oh, you're pushing him through the slot of, okay. Um, I'm going to open the door for him. You guys double team this? <laughs> <laughs> what does this look like to everybody else? Oh, hilarious. Uh, it looks like Ryukin is like, he's got his hands on your shoulders and he's like shoving you towards the door and Valena's like sneaking herself way, way towards the back and just like creaking that door open to make it yeah. just big enough so that Eros can be shoved out of the door. So now there is an Eros-sized crack. Eros is out of the room and Ryukin and Valena have just pushed him. Does it, is Ryukin, there no, go there, check on him. Portal or... I'm gonna stick There's my no head portal. in. What do you see? I'm gonna push him in the rest of the way. <laughs> I, I should have seen this coming. <laughs> Eros uh, is in a backyard of sorts. It is a lush, large pond. Um, that upper white, has, cl- upper white middle class. Yes. Um, around like the reeds, you see a lot of like gorilla tufts of fur like getting stuck in the reeds and the rocks because the gorillas have been bathing in this pond and trying to get back to their turtle roots um but uh it's just a very lush beautiful gorgeous pond this is disgusting i stand up i look at both of the uh, conspirators 
Um, she made me do it. She made you do nothing. She made you do nothing. I just shut the door on this. I I opened the door. (laughs) The door was shut and now the door is open again. I I, I continue. We're going to pause here (laughs) and we are going to jump back to Olo and Dwarik who are watching Sandra and Alo um, do circles around each other, getting ready to do this epic wrestling match. Hey, hey, you got this, Sandra. And I, I cast uh, Bardic Inspiration. Nice, Belinor. Nice. That's a D6. Go, uh, go, both of you. You both are very talented. Dwork, you are muted if you're trying to say anything. Oh, at this point, Dwork actually wants to go see the door. So he actually like leaves the table and uh, walks over to the door. Okay. Dwork is over by the door, which is being opened and closed by Eros and Valena and Ryukin's at this point just kind of standing there watching the door open and close. Uh, Dwork, what would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm still kicking direct magic. It lasts for 10 minutes. So okay. I'm going to peer out the door and see what I look at the pond. Um, you can see like residual um, enhanced growth. So like the the sprouts of the trees and the reeds inside of the pond, they're kind of like faintly glowing with a slight nature magic, but that's really all that you're seeing. It's just a, just a slight enhancement. There's nothing else that's magical. The only thing that you can see is magical is just the handle of the doorknob and it's whatever an anchor for a teleportation magic would be. Can I, if, can I just say how that is. House went through the trouble of putting that pun in Twitch chat and the Zoom chat. <laughs> <laughs> you just really wanted to, to yep. let it be known. I wa- it's like the spores. I want everyone to be attacked by them. <laughs> Respect. Respect. And uh, snitches get stitches, uh, Bellinor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't noticed that before. I, like, I was totally like, paying attention to uh, roll twenty, so I haven't looked at the chat. Good pun, though. Good pun. Good pun. Good pun. Do, do, do not encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It does, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to encourage me. There's it does not matter. <laughs> Can we discourage you, <laughs> Doric? What would you like to do at the door? Other than well. Look at the magic. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, I don't think we can use this portal unless one of you knows how to use portals. They know how to use portals. They pushed me through this one. Yeah, it was awesome, wasn't it? No, it was awesome until you pushed me. (laughs) No, that it was really, really funny. This is stupid. I want to watch the gorilla fight now. All right, let's go to Sandra and the gorilla. Um, Sandra, I am going to let you go first. So go ahead and roll your attack of whatever you want to do to wrestle this here gorilla. So I believe that we've agreed that it is non-lethal combat. Oh yes, that was very clearly decided. Um, and so I'm. it's going to be unarmed fighting and uh, basically, I'm going to tackle and try to pin the uh, gorilla. Okay, go ahead and roll your attack. A, a, a two? With your modifiers? No, not with my modifiers. Okay. Uh, with my modifiers, that's a set. It's still not going to hit, but that's still... Um, I was like, you only have a plus one? <laughs> That'd be really, really bad. Um, okay, so you attempt to tackle this here um, gorilla and you fail a little bit. Um, actually a lot. You like, you dive forward and he like, um, total gorilla sneakily like does a roll backwards and gets out of his way or something, or it gets out of her way. And now this turtle is going to come forward at you with fists because that's how the turtle likes to wrestle does a 19 hit you yes a 19 does hit um um all right so that is eight bludgeoning damage and um alo's going to take another swing at you with a nat 20 um 
This time with a six to hit. A six to hit does not. Or, I'm sorry, a, a six to damage. It was a nat 20. Or, no, sorry, a dirty 20 to hit and six for damage. Okay, yeah. So that was 11 total damage, and now it is your turn. What would you like to do to this alo friend now? Uh, since he used his fists on me, I want to grab the fist that hit me most recently. Okay. Um, using my, I, I guess, athletics or something. Uh, yep. And uh, try to grab him and throw him to the floor. Okay, go ahead and roll athletics. That's a 26. Okay, you definitely catch the fist and go ahead and roll your attack. You get um you can have advantage on this since you already have hands on him. Is there that moment when he like goes to punch and she grabs it and and they both look at it together and they're like Oh, definitely. That's definitely happening. Yes, I do. All right, so that's a dirty 20. Okay, that will 100% hit and go ahead and roll some damage for that chuck to the ground that's a three okay so three points of damage and i'm gonna consider him to be grappled he is going to um try to swing at you with his fist that he has free and he is going to miss um so it is your turn he i want to sit on him okay he to has pin him sat so on. that he can tap out how much, how, how big are you exactly? Like, how much do you weigh? Uh, that much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Goliaths average between seven and eight feet, and I believe they were about 250, 275 pounds. Okay. Um, he's not tapping out yet. He's there. So if you want to, like, jab him or anything. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use my knee. It. I'm going to use my knee to jab him in the belly. All right, go ahead and roll an attack roll for that. I get to use my um, my inspiration that was given you to me, You can use right? your inspiration. That's a d6. Yeah, you do. So that's a total of eight plus five. That is 13. Okay, um, you are going to see that knee, like, kind of get him right in his kidney, and he's like, all of the air is just going to go out from his body. It's like just a giant whoosh of like, oh, that hurts a lot. And then you're going to kind of see him very slowly tap out. In that case, I am going to stand up yeah! and say, yay! And then I'm going to help the uh, alo up. That was a Good match. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am door hurting. shuts. Doors open. <laughs> door shuts. Door <laughs> opens. <laughs> Ilo um, is going to walk over and bring Olo a mug of beer. Is that really you, son? Oh, yes, father. Uh, I mean... I think I'm the one that really should be saying that to you. But it has been so long since I saw you. You look a lot different. I look like a gorilla now. We have been trying to find a cure for this permanent polymorph, but we have not been able to find anything. Well, I have a lot of friends, as you can see, who like to hit things and then ask questions. So we're going to go visit the wizard, and they're probably going to hit him, and then I'll ask some questions. I think that that could be a good decision. Will you come back and eat more meals with us? I would like that a lot. Good. And then <laughs> Ilo's going to walk back and start brewing more beer. Warwick. Yes. I'm hurting. <laughs> Had to go wrestle a gorilla, didn't you? Yes, I was the first of my tribe. 
to wrestle a girl. Wrestle and win. There was there was once Gruck the all wrestler, and yeah, no, that's how he died. Uh, all right. Truth. So uh, so yeah, that that happened. Um, Dwork, go ahead and heal Sandra if you would like to yes. do so. And um, what are you guys going to do next? Um, obviously, figure out how this doorknob works. <laughs> So that we can teleport to the wizard so I can kick his ass and go home to my, I guess, wife and kids. You can try. Go I ahead. Should we have a wife and kids? I feel God, like it's I a story. I feel like that's a story. Just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I can't. yeah, wife and kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Roger, you have yeah, sure, yeah. 10 health now. He steals no, from everybody. It's just, I have five kids to feed. Then he keeps stealing and he says, I have four kids to feed. I do not believe him. In this in this world, I'm kidnapping children to feed as my own. I'm like, oh man, I'm just henpecked and can't get these kids won't get to sleep, and I just keep stealing more. In this so, story that you've just put on the table, there's a simple solution: <laughs> stop stealing kids. I don't think they like it very much. Okay, we found pets and saved pets. We found Check. flowers and picked flowers. Check. Now we need the magician. Wizard. Wizard. I mean, okay, well, well, point of order, point of order, friends. When does a magician become a wizard? Olo, he called you his friend again. Olo. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you very much for showing us your family and Really, really just kind of. I mean, I can't really take credit for that. They just kind of happened to be here. I know. It was really just kind of one of those like. Classic gorilla family turtle stories. You know? Turtle stories. Yeah. I mean, like the, like, like in the stories. Time. Right. Yeah. To the wizard, please. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys going to start heading towards the wizard? Yep, oh, we're going to go to the wizard. We're off to see the wizards. <laughs> Where is the yellow brick road? Uh, well, you walk outside um, of the back door, and funnily enough, there's the yellow brick road out there. It's weird. <laughs> Holy so, uh, shit. Oh, is you, this gold? you walk outside, and it, it actually it is gold. The, the road is paved with gold there. Um, and you can start walking along the... Uh, the path if you would like i'm going first <laughs> all right sandra goes first who goes second i'm gonna follow up behind her all right what's on third arrows can we <laughs> I, I don't know no i don't know i don't know <laughs> all right um so you guys are walking along the path and you travel it's a rather uneventful travel it's starting to get a little bit late um and you are in the distance um, after walking, let's say like an hour, um, starting to get a little bit late. You see in the distance a castle at the edge of the sea. The road is paved with gold still up to it, but the castle itself is made of very, very black stone. At least it looks like stone. You can't really tell because you're a little bit far away. Um, and so you can see at the very tip of this castle, in the very tallest tower, um, it's lit. And there is a shape that you can kind of see backlit. You can see the shape moving his hands. Um, if you have especially good vision you can kind of see a little bit of magic swirling around him and then he disappears and it looks like he must have teleported somewhere <laughs> success <laughs> um i uh hold hold on a second guys i <laughs> I gotta check on that, guys. Uh, be right back. Ah! 
<laughs> Where did she go? Yeah. Not a gorilla, not a frog. Turned Dungeon Mandy into a dog. <laughs> I fucking love this. Good doggy. <laughs> I'm too meta for me, guys. <laughs> too meta for me. Well, oh, for those people at home, you see two members of the community are married and they're awfully weird. What do we have <laughs> here? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. I can't hear any of you, but I can see you in there. <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure this technology out. <laughs> What's this? Mm. Hello? Oh no, he oh no, he only needs one more earbud to complete the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're hilarious. <laughs> I'm Olo. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, you're still <laughs> role-playing. That's so cute, Dan. <laughs> That's I delightful. Like I love a good role play. I don't mm. think people know my name. <laughs> so, if you haven't figured it out already, Dungeon Mandy is gone, and I will be your new dungeon master. <laughs> I do like the sound of that. <laughs> I like the other one better. Mm. Plot twist. Let's see here. What these rules say, master of worlds, <laughs> master of <laughs> rules. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I've always liked dragons. Maybe I could play with a dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, no. What do you all think of that? Okay. Oh. I haven't tried More that gorillas. yet. <laughs> More gorillas. Sandra, no. <laughs> oh, would you like to join your father? I mean, it's not the worst hey, idea. You're like about to join. His, you're about to join his mother. Sorry. <laughs> Again with the role playing, it's so cute. <laughs> All right then, Fun. a dragon it is. <laughs> My puns are better than your puns. Wait, really? <laughs> really? What color should I make it? <laughs> what do you think? Purple. Ye yellow. Teal. I think gold. <laughs> I bet you never would have guessed that. We should have. <laughs> oh, I'm going character. to need you to, what does it say? Roll initiative. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? Eleven. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I hope there's someone else around that might be able to help pilot this thing for you. <laughs> I got an eighteen, Mister Wizard. You got an eighteen. <laughs> Delightful. We're going to Ten? just have the dragon go first. <laughs> Cause guess what? I make the rules. I need you to all make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Fuck. Five. Twenty. Seven. <laughs> Nat 20. And guess what? <laughs> you all die. <laughs> I do so like this game. <laughs> oh. uh, That's an eight. <laughs> Ooh, I am so glad you have a courier service for me to deliver my anchor in one day for free. <laughs> Uh, I said you all died. <laughs> you guys just want to like turn around? Hey. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to deal with this, right? No. Yes, you do. To... You're in my I don't, game. I don't know about oh, that. Yeah. You're in my game yeah. now. You're I am the game a little master. bit unbearable. I turn around and I walk back the path. Yeah, let's all turn around. <laughs> I mean, oh, hey, that. listen. Yeah. Hey, what was your name there, wizard? I am the evil crazy wizard. <laughs> That's 
That's what they call me. Parents didn't give you a chance. I'm done with that. So I, 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 yeah, I I turn, I start walking with Sandra and I'm like, but Hey, earlier with the flowers, that was super great. I don't want to deal with this thing either. I did. And I just kind of like, you you hear me fading as I walk with Sandra. (laughs) It's entertaining. You're still controlling your characters after they're dead. (laughs) Oh, they are dead. Actually, actually. dead. Oh yes. (laughs) Very much. So. Okay. The, the dragon hit you for 400 damage. <laughs> so, um having having achieved this this flatline TPK rising from our from our level 3 bodies, now in cor- in corporeal form, can I see you as you are? A sad lonely man in a tower as i as i'm floating to the as i'm floating to the afterlife and who just has no right to come in here and do a we forgot to bring them back the flowers <laughs> sandra we're dead <laughs> i grow <laughs> tired we're dead. i grow tired of this game Mom, you won't know. play along with me. I am going to go and I'll give you your precious dungeon Mandy back. Goodbye, okay, cool. adventures. <laughs> you better leave my castle quick before I get back. God. I'm pretty I think Mordain would not let me die yet. Okay. Listen, I know we just got a preview of things to come. And I know that he looks absolutely unbeatable in fact it seems like he can't even do math i don't think he can no no and, and, and no one no no none but of those things all the gold and sandra hey you'll be the first one to throw a wizard out of a large tower 500 <gasps> feet down to its death where he will literally of uh, like just liquidate the moment he hits the water his body will be no more I like. Wait, I thought this you idea. were the one to throw people out of windows. You don't know about. It. Yes, I do. I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> I want to throw a wizard out of a window, but what about Sandra. the flowers? We promised still the with flowers. Olo. Yeah, but yeah. they're still with Olo. They're. Fine. I'm not feeling that great. They're starting to dry up. Yeah, um, the uh, the flowers are drying, and the uh, the pollen is starting to to rise up again. Every time Olo moves, there's a cloud of pollen dust. He's not sneezing oh. yet. I cast pr- uh, protection from poison right. on myself. It's probably a good idea, Olo. Um, so <coughs> you guys have all established that the wizard is not dead. All of Olo's family has been polymorphed into. Gorillas? Except my mom. Correct. Except his who, mom. Who got, who, who got polymorphed into dead. <laughs> who got polymorphed into dead. And now we uh, we really only have one more thing that you guys possibly need to uh, to clear up before we discontinue this session. Valena, I think you have something that you need to tell someone. Doric. Yeah. Who's your god? Mordain. Why? Because he's the creator of dwarves. He is my god. Well, what has he done for you? Ooh. <laughs> what do you, he brought all dwarves into existence. He, um... But what has he done for you lately in your life? Uh, exactly. You no, know, I don't know. Yeah, you Abathor has helped me more. You should come with me in Abathor. There is so much more that she can give you. I I've been thinking for a long time what what to do. Is Abathor controlling me, or is Mordain controlling me? I uh, I have yet to know. But you're free to choose. You know, my path is still set before me. I will go with you. Dwork, 
you have just been granted a level in Warlock. Oh. Celestial Warlock with Abathor as your patron. And that is where this session will end. Jeez. <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> oh, by the way, at the end, you're, you're, war, you're part warlock now. So is Valena the big bad of this campaign in real life? Probably. <laughs> she wanted okay. to steal the gold collar. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'd like to take Hi. a moment here to talk to you about what you saw tonight. Hey, Andrew. Do you, do you really <laughs> Is this know? a PSA? Make sure you say, this is a PSA. This is paid for by Concerned Watchers of LSRPG. What you, what, what you witnessed tonight was a group of adventurers coming up onto what could be only described as the most terrifying thing that we've ever shown here on our channel, which is Bova giggling to himself for about <laughs> ten and a half minutes. <laughs> I do as well. But we thank you very much for your patronage. Oh, shit. I believe, yeah, I, 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 believe I take those drugs Olo gave me. I believe the smoking <laughs> is actually the no sleep three kids drug. Hey, is this a, <laughs> such is, a is good this drug? Really, is this really uh, us for the evening? We're all set. This We're all is done. where uh, we end for the holy evening. Holy moly. Thank Aww. you very much. That was It has phenomenal. been three and a half hours of fantastic fun. Yes, it has. Oh, you know how hard it was to breathe and not drink in this mask? <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you, you made your bed and you needed to Nobody asked you to do that. that. I watched Barden. I watched all these things. I'm like, I guess I got to commit. And then everyone's in plain clothes. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm extra. To, to be fair, I was this close to using lipstick to draw on my face. You should have. I look just like my token. What are you talking about? <laughs> I would have worn it's, anything. I mean, it's, it's true. Guys. There, would have worn way. anything green, it would have picked up the background. So I that kind of nixed that whole idea. I am True. I am thoroughly impressed with you, Dungeon Mandy. Great job tonight. <laughs> Welcome to the community M spot. Nice job. We uh we need to give a round of applause to the meta section of the game where Bova came in as the wizard and took my place as the dungeon master. <laughs> that so, was that phenomenal. Was awesome. No, Bova, that was great. That was terrifying. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, really terrifying. <laughs> it really, really was. So, I'm yeah, I mean, we've got for a second. So, again, um, looking, uh, tomorrow we've got uh, Ishfell at 2 Eastern and Party Foul at 7 Eastern. Please come through and, uh, and see Dungeon Mandy uh, act as Dungeon Mina uh, and do her fucking, her quite a different role than the ones that she provided for us tonight. Uh, but thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. All right, Jade. Get, send us out of here. Hey. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye.